mission is to kill Chaos. That's all I know. When are we gonna fight Chaos? All I care about is seeing Chaos dead. Looks like Chaos has been waiting for us. Chaos. We're here to kill Chaos. What about Chaos? That Chaos doesn't exist? The Chaos Shrine. Just one. Is it true you made a deal with Chaos? Chaos exists. I knew it. I told you. And where there's a crystal, there's Chaos. Come on. Are you Chaos? You told us he made a deal with Chaos. And where? Where did this desperate urge to eradicate Chaos come from? Chaos takes hold. Me? Chaos? Chaos. This world needs Chaos! Chaos? What can I say except chaos? Welcome. There will be no chaos. We don't do chaos. We do a hybrid of like a gentle, smooth ocean wave with a mix of just a touch of wind. Welcome back. Woo! I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest. I'm feeling the like the uh, like. It's getting ridiculous. It also is not being helped by the fact that I'm drinking a Red Bull. Like, uh, I, I don't, mistakes were made, okay? Mistakes were made. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, we Azar said, did you miss us? Man, like, on a scale of one to 10, I missed chat like a 9.9 .9 other than we Azar, that's like a solid two because I knew I was going to be ridiculed for my socks. So it brings back a lot of trauma and I don't know how to deal with said trauma. <laughs> yes, I... It's so funny that this sort of outlet can add so much to your life. Do you see what's missing, chat? Do you see what's missing? I'm going to try it. We're going to see how it goes. I'm not wearing the air monitors. So let me know if you're picking up any feedback from uh, ye old speaker. My goodness, Chad, how you doing? Mm. Mm. Welcome, well, of course, all of you probably can't hear me so far back in the corner uh, because you're all in trouble because there's a hype train going on. So we have a lot of countdown hype train love to go over. Doff 87. 17 months. Just take 17 months for Dolph. This. No, I better scroll all the way up because I know none of you are going to wait for me to finish all the love and then I'm going to miss love and then who wants to miss out on love? Who wants to do that? I don't even know where this starts. I don't even know. Okay. Newbie. Newbie in with us six months. Uh oh, I'm going to miss so much in chat. Chat scrolling like they've never scrolled before. Hold on to your horses, chat. And uh, do me a quick favor. If you're if you're trying to get my attention, I'm gonna be reading the list. I can't read both things at once, unless I made my eyes go like this. I don't I don't think I can do that. I, I don't I don't think I can do that. I could try. Nope, it doesn't work. Dave Hammer. In with the, are you ready for this, Chad? 20 months for Dave. Big old choo-choo over to Dave. 20 months. Rosewood time, in with the follow. Welcome to the chaos. Dave Hammer following it up with another five gifted subs. I say another because Dave does a lot for the channel. Mr. Rusty with 500 bits asked me the question earlier, said, how is the beard rub? <laughs> Yes, for those of you who have not seen the photo yet, there's one somewhere out there on the internet. Mr. Taco and I rubbed beards. It was glorious. I had a, a certain sandalwood beard butter. I don't know the scent that was on his beard, but it was glorious. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Rusty, for 500 bits. Rykar, old one with a thousand bits. Big love from Rykar. Thank you. Carol in with 100 bits. Welcome back, Carol. Good to see you. Max in with the 86 bits. 
Thank you, Max. Dark Wizard. In with the prime. Three months for Dark Wizard. Chromic Acid said, great to see you. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to that. Oh, I'm getting to that. Don't you worry. I'm getting to all that. So many pack stories. Carol in with another 100 bits. Thank you, Carol. Storzes Zyken. You know, I'm still mispronouncing it, but it's all right. With the gifted sub. Thank you, Storzes. Brian Matt 42 in with the 10 gifties. Hi, Brian. Newbie in with another 50 bits. Thank you, Newbie. Melkurin in with the nine months. It's like three quarters of an echoversary. Thank you, Melkurin. Dex3D, leader of the Council of Memes, with 100 bits says, yes, even harder, chat. Choo choo. Oh, be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Carol. Carol in with five more gifted subs. Thank you, Carol. I appreciate you. Soriel Blackfeather. Level 12 Druid Subclass Fighter. I don't know how it works, but that's what Soriel Blackfeather is today. With 10 gifted subs. Thank you, Soro Black Feather. Zimmy99 in with the 17 months. Thank you, Zimmy. Welcome back. Zimmy's one of the original, uh, original. I think Zimmy's still rocking the Founders badge. Which, by the way, coming up on. Let's see, in four months. So I'm going to plan to do it every year. Every year, I'm going to go through the VIP list. And if somebody has been out of the channel for that year, and the, or not the VIP list, the founders list, um, if they haven't been subbed for that past year, they will be bounced from the founders. So that way the next person in line can gain that founders badge. Because we're only allowed to get like 25 founders badge. It's the one that has the first. Like Zimmy in chat right now has the first. If you highlight over that, you'll see it. Punkins and I will post the picture of Taco and Echo in Discord if it's okay with me. Of course it's okay. Of course. Thank you. Yuki! In with a gifted sub. Lady Anime Yuki, welcome back. Dave Hammer. With another gifted sub. This one went to Slicky Jeb. No chat. We're not naming vents and geysers. I see you, Luscious Lucian. I'm going to reject this one. I'm going to reject that one. We're not pendiculating yet either. I'm rejecting all these. By the way, can somebody tell me if I reject it? Does it reset the timer? Or do we still have to wait for the timer? I don't even know. I'm a pro. First time chatter toaster junkie. Welcome. Doff in with the 17 months. Another big timer there. Doff 87, 17 months. Pi Roy Maniac with 100 bits. My geese are going broody, so hopefully some gooselings. Some goslings? Is that like Ryan Goslings or gooselings? Meg's live in with the 16 months. We Azar said we still have to wait. Then I will give uh, the drink and the pandiculate in a minute, because that's not fair. Thank you, Dave, for following that up. Slicky Jeb and Weazar. Slicky Jeb in with the five gifted subs. <laughs> it's funny because Slicky was just gifted a sub. Slicky's like, yeah? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. And then they threw five gifted subs to the chat. Thank you, Slicky. Weazar in with 100 bits says, time to jump on the train. Uh, report directly to the sock car, Weazar. We have 15,000 pairs of socks that we need you to itemize. Appreciate it. Stream Elements, the bot. Sulfur, welcome back. 16 months. Fabian. With the 11 months for Fabian. Said, I just realized there's only one month left until I subscribed to you for a whole year. Even though I, of course, have known your channel for a long time, I can't wait for a full year. It'd be a great echo anniversary there, Fabian. Stream Elements the bot with another gifted sub. They gifted 
the real Stream Elements bot a gifted sub. Magical. Luscious Lucian with 100 bits. Thank you very much. Give me one second. I have to I have to look this up. The queen every once in a while, because the queen is amazing and all that is good in the world, sends me messages, right? Because I can't possibly remember everything. But the queen somehow does. I don't I don't know how. Where's that channel? Channel, 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 channel. There it is. Chat, we have a couple birthdays to celebrate. All right, so get ready for the echo parties. Get ready. I need to see all the echo parties as we're celebrating. Sulfur. Sulfur's birthday was on Monday. And today, today is Brian Matt's birthday. Big ups and happy birthday to both Sulfur and Brian Matt. Cheers to the both of you. Brian says, I hate being at the age where you no longer get birthday cards. Instead, you get an AARP mailer and coupon for 20% off your next colonoscopy. <laughs> Sulfur says, no, my birthday was on Tuesday. We will correct it in the records. <laughs> Happy birthday. Daladine says, Echo, my awesome swag from your store arrived, and I love it, man. So glad I was able to get it. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I hope you did enjoy the swag. Were you able to post it in the uh, the merch channel in Discord? So I was actually, it, so I got so many pack stories, but one of them, based on We Azar, uh, I stood in the long line for the official PAX merchandise, right? The official PAX merchandise. And I was going in there with the mindset, I just wanted to get Little Chick a couple of things from PAX, right? That's all I wanted to do. Buy her a few things. I'm a giver. And right when I got out of the line, I realized they sell socks. I could have gotten myself some pack socks and I failed. I completely failed. I wanted to get the pack socks and be able to surprise we Azar, but my mind was so focused. I don't know. In general though, pa PAX was amazing. All right, but I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you a secret and I'm thinking this is true for most every convention like that. What makes it amazing is not the convention itself. It's not the displays. It's not the, the all the games. It's not all the merch. It's the people. It is 100,000% the people. This weekend, this past weekend, I got to hang out with Mr. Taco. Uh, Naz? Naz was there? Let me tell you. Naz has more, Naz has like a glowing energy around them that just exudes happiness and excitement. It was so amazing to meet. Um, and Chromic Acid. So Chromic Acid, Naz, Mr. Taco, Pumpkin Pie was there. B-Dubs was there. I'm going to forget people. Of course, I'm, oh, <laughs> let me see a bunch of Eds in chat. Let me see the first in their name. I got to hang out with Ed. Oh, it was amazing hanging out with Ed. Uh, they are exactly, exactly who you think they are. It was amazing. He he has this sort of Edness to him. I don't know how else to explain it. There are no adjectives in the current Webster's Dictionary to describe an Ed. That's why Ed's the first of his name. It's all Ed. Do you mean Ed, Ed, and Eddie? <laughs> it was great though. It was so it was so fun. Um, I'll definitely, I'm definitely gonna do it again. I will. I think next time I will try to incorporate. I wanted to get my feet wet and see how it sort of went. I think next time I'll try to incorporate like a day or a half a day for like a um, an event or a, a lunch or something with the community. This first time I didn't want to make a big deal about it. We had some people in the local area that we were go that were going, 
but I didn't want to advertise it too much because I had no idea what to expect. Now I do. Now I do. Oh yeah, speaking of which. Speaking of which. We're going to do this again for Ed as soon as I find it. There it is. If you are a Lego fan, go look at this shop right now. Find something. If you have a gift that you need to that you need to buy for an upcoming birthday, get it from that shop. All right? There's lots of stuff there. I have ordered from Ed several times. The package came quickly. It came in great condition. Great customer service. I mean, it's Ed's shop. What do you expect? Nothing but professional Eds everywhere. Ed says, so, so this is what it feels like when you get embarrassed by shout outs? <laughs> Does the Lego shop have a command over here? No, but it needs one. Um, yeah, let's just make it Lego. Command. Uh, add Lego. Let's see how that works. Ed's shop. Boom. Amy, Amy was doing some more role playing in the beginning. Amy, you could tell Amy has spent plenty of time. I'm going to guess on like, I think they used to call them muds. Some people know them as mucks. There's a lot of different names, right? But Amy has an ability to basically emote their story, like role-playing their story, basically telling all of you that, uh, I can't remember exactly what it, or Amy said. Those words are too good. Multi-user dungeons? says NAS. I think that's what it stands for. I think when I started playing them, there was a difference between a mux and a mud, but I do not remember them. I don't remember what the difference is. Taco! Mm! With a hundred biddies. Hi, Taco. My beard can still feel your beard. Mm. Mm. Taco says, Jack, can I tell you that somehow Echo is even nicer in person? It's a true story, by the way. He is kind and funny. Also, he smells good and gives good, good beard pets. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Big hugs at you, Taco. Big, big hugs to everybody out there in chat land. Um, let me figure out some other highlights. Oh, Naz was like an official, an official tour guide, right? Naz knows everywhere in Boston. And they move at a very quick pace. And we're like, all right, let's go here. We're going to go here. Yeah, we're going here. All right, we're going over here. What's even great is Naz planned an escape room. We had like six or seven people in an escape room at PAX. It was amazing. Thank you again, Naz, for everything you did. I look forward to the next time. Is PAX East always in Boston? We Azar says, I heard there was Mario Kart. Oh, was there? Oh, was there? The issue with the, um, the Mario Kart was that one of the two sleds was broken. It wasn't so broken. It was just, you know when you drift? Let me, let me try to simulate. You ready? That's how you drift in Mario Kart, by the way. You actually have to do that with the controller. Well... When you drift with one of the sleds, it wouldn't hold because the steering wheel was a little wonky. So 80% of the matches went to the person in the right chair. The left chair was not good. Amy says, I'm terrified of going to cons, but I'd also, I'd go to one to meet the people from this community. Absolutely. The problem is for so many people, unless you're local, it's so expensive to get there because you're talking about flights, hotels, and the hotels in Boston, not cheap. 
Of course. I got a pretty good deal compared to some other people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Naz says, so Echo was in the left chair 80% of the time naturally. Exactly. But I still did pull off some wins even in the left chair. We Azar said, I want to meet all of my streamers casually and just have a day with them and a few other chatters. That's exactly what it was. It's exactly what it was. It was really fun. <laughs> oh, Lamb Gwen says, I understand your uncle is Joe Motel 6. <laughs> Chromic um, actually tied in a work trip. Um, so it was very convenient. Unfortunately, we only got Chromic for one evening. But it was uh, it was still great to meet him. And I tell you what about Boston? I used to live in Mass. My hands are still chapped, still chapped. It was so cold. Now, granted, I'm from South Carolina, but one of the days it was like 29 degrees with like a 7,000 mile an hour wind. My lips are still chapped. My hands are chapped. Like it's just this weirdest. Like I've been using my hands as you know, sandpaper. It's ridiculous. We also got to meet a couple of people from Taco's community. Um, the one that stood out the most for me was uh, Geeky Gamer. Very, very cool dude. Has this, has this vibe of Calm, collected, and intelligent. Very much one of those type of vibes. Ed says Boston is windier than the windy the windy cities of Chicago. Be careful. Dave's running around in here. Dave doesn't like it when people talk about um, Chicago. With Love Sparrow says, as a Floridian, I can agree the weather in Boston is full on hostile. My body hurts so much after the visit. Cobweb and Rose said, you should come to PAX West. I don't know, because the PAXs are going to be the exact same, aren't they? And look, let, let's be honest. I told you it was very expensive. So I have to I have to meet her. I'm, I'm thinking about doing two a year, right? PAX East will probably definitely be the one because it's on the East Coast. But um, TwitchCon is normally on the West Coast. And it makes sense that I go to TwitchCon, right? Naz says, yeah, the only different packs is the packs unplugged in November. That's the uh, the board game packs, right? Harvester of Soy said, this weekend in Boston was unusually cold. Yeah, it was. Everybody kept saying it too. Rob Roy says, come to Europe. I tell you what, Rob Roy, that's a possibility, right? That might happen one day because apparently TwitchCon is now going to be in for the US is going to be in San Diego for the next couple of years and I'm like no nobody wants to go to San Diego Taco said it's 65 today of course it of course as soon as I got on the plane the sun will come out tomorrow and everything was happy and go lucky but yeah I'd love to because one thing about Europe is it's a quick train to get to almost everywhere. Amy from Earth says, check, check space A flights are available to Europe for disabled veterans who didn't retire. For those you didn't know in chat, space A is a, a it's a program that gives like, let's say there's a C-130 going to base number whatever. If they have available room, you can get on that plane. Now, this is for like military, retirees, that sort of things. And I'm not sure, Amy, if uh, if disabled veterans count. It might. I'd be. You should all. You should check because I do remember some of my um, vet friends who did not retire doing it. The haunted. With 14 months. Thank you, Haunted. Slicky Jeb says, will foreign military count? 
I, I don't think so. There are a lot of, um, so it depends. A lot of the military stuff, not necessarily the U.S. military benefits, but there's a lot of military stuff that coincides with NATO organizations. So as long as your country is a member of NATO, there are some things there. Captain Morgan with the two months has finally made a live stream. Hello, Captain Morgan. We Azar in with a fluga. So no feedback, huh? I don't need the ear monitors is what you're telling me? Man, what have I been missing out on? Should we, should we just throw them away now? Probably not, right? Probably not. It's probably because I don't have a lot of echo in this room. <laughs> oh, it's so good to be here, chat. So good to be here. Amy, if you end up looking that up tonight, let me know. I'd love to know as well. Now we have naked ears. This is too much, says we Azar. Who knows what's next? I tell you what. <laughs> I was on Twitch the other day, and I had I had to take a, a screenshot and share it with some friends. Like, Twitch is cracking down on rump shaking, rump shaking emotes. Let me see some echo shakes in the chat all right this is the sort of thing that twitch is um looking for i guess because that might be suggestive i promise you i don't watch hot tub streamers i don't watch any sort of streamer in bathing suits or anything like that that's not why i come to a live streaming gaming platform it's just not my bag baby Yet every single time, despite the fact that Twitch says, you know, this sort of suggestive behavior is against terms of service, every single time on my suggested for you, it's like, ah, oh, I don't even want to see that. I don't even want to see it. I want to discover some awesome nerds. Show me your nerds. But no, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Newbie says, I get that also. I come for the games that I might want to play. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, let me get that pandiculate. I can't remember who gave it. But I appreciate it. Big cheers. <laughs> Slicky Jeb says, what is a hot tub streamer? Every time someone suggested, I imagine the Ani hot tub with headphones playing Ani. <laughs> Puzzlina, hello. Slightspeed says you should have done a vlog. It's, it, it'd be a different step though, right? Because as many of you know, some of you are newer and you don't you don't understand um, or you do not know this about me. I try to keep all divisive conversation out of the channel, right? I don't care what you are. I don't care what you believe. I don't care where you're from. You know what I care about? Hey, tell me about the last game you were playing. All right, uh, tell me what your favorite ice cream is. Why can't we just come to a place be buddies and hang out. That's all I want to do. Let's have some good quality nerd time. Exactly. Like the queen says, you do you, boo. Sulfur played Horizon Forbidden West on the new PC. Congrats, Sulfur, for getting it up there. Dave says, who mentioned Chicago being windier than Boston? I think it's true some circumstances, but otherwise, other places are definitely windier than here. Amy says, veterans with a service-connected permanent disability rating of 100% will be able to travel in CONUS or directly between the CONUS and Alaska, Hawaii, Puerto Rico, U.S. Virgin Islands, Guam, and American Samoa. So no Europe. Inept SC with the four months. 
Thank you. Amen. Naz in with a sound check. One, two, three. Sound check. Queen's been lost in Palea this week. I know they had a huge surge when they first launched, but I wasn't sure if, uh, if people were still up on it. Dex finished building my natural gas distiller in the 12,700 cycle colony. That is nuts. Gun Griffin been playing Democracy Simulator. Is that the one by Stardock? So real Black Feather been on the Coral Island when they're not playing Final Fantasy XIV. Carol's trying to build their first nuclear reactor in Ani. Good stuff, Carol. Um, just in case you didn't know, um, I'm actually also on YouTube, and there may be a couple videos that could help you in doing that. Dominique asks, have I ever tried Timberborn? Ani in the weekends, Timber Timberborn in the work week? Um, I have tried Timberborn. I think it is an adorable title. I like a lot of its functionality. Um, I don't think there's enough content. I don't think there's enough meat and potatoes. Jarifa in with a gifted sub. Not to... No! I have been trying to sub Rob Roy for like four months now. Thank you, Jarifa, for the gifted sub over to Rob Roy. Miss M. LaRue. I'm going to go with LaRue with the follow. Welcome to the chaos. Thank you again, Jarifa. Every time I remember and I look, I'll, I'll, let me make sure Rob Roy subbed. Nope. Uh, when any of my mods come in here. M. LaRue says I nailed it. Psh. Let's go. First time chatter, welcome. I mean, that's a first for me on anything. Like somebody can come in here with the word Bob and I'd probably mess that up the first time I said it. GS8920 in with the 13 months. Missed the stream? I did. I did. Happy Baker's Dozen to GS. And thank you. Megan is playing Animal Crossing, trying to get all the eggs before Bunny Day. I had a, probably a good three, four months into Animal Crossing. Mm -hmm. It's weird, isn't it? It is very weird. It's very surreal. Like that was probably the thing, like I said about the people. Like meeting a lot of the people from the community and now being able to picture Ed, picture Naz, and when I see them in the channel, I can remember and recall different conversations because of their face. But it's kind of the same way even virtually. Like you start recognizing people and you have these little bonds and you're able to share things. And it it's just incredible, the type of community that we've built. I'm very, very grateful. Dave says, I was driving while twitching hands-free. I appreciate you doing it hands-free, Dave. Way to be responsible driver. Amy says, I definitely have a few friends from here who I have not met, I've never met in person. Yeah. Newbie says, I'm pretty sure your mental picture of me is not what I actually look like. <laughs> Got Nate in with the two months, said Twitch moved my cheese prime sub button behind extra clicks i have heard that i have heard that and i've actually been failing because i'm sitting on a twitch prime and i always forget to give it and i should be giving it every month right but i don't and it's i'm just letting jeff bezos keep that money 
I need to get better at it. I need to watch more Twitch is what I need to do. <laughs> this is such a typical Ed. Chat, Echo looks exactly what I... <laughs> Echo looks exactly like what I pictured he would. <laughs> Amy says shorter or taller than you expected. Yeah, I am curious about that, right? Because the camera, you know, was I thinner? Was I bigger? I don't, I don't know. I met me a long time ago. For those of you who know Ed on Discord, a lot of um, a lot of Lego folks have like a Lego image of themselves, and Ed's profile picture is his Lego. Ed looks exactly like his Lego. Ed said leaner. Rawr. <laughs> oh. It's so amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's good to be back, though. It's great to be back. Are we, uh, are we ready for chaos? Are we ready for chaos? Who wants? Who did their homework today, by the way? One day, I'm going to tell... I'm going to tell everybody the story of how that video got created and it'll make perfect sense. There was more chaos in that video than I was even able to put in the video. Um, much chaos. And I, I'll, you know, Mr. Brain said homework done, ready for class. Newbie said that was a fun video. I wish it went longer. Fair. Naz said, did you record it on Tuesday at least? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I had to record and edit that one on Tuesday. Who peed in the brine water? <laughs> oh. Codesman said, I did my homework twice. Much love, Codesman. Much love. Bushman Glenn, welcome back, said it was a glorious cascade of chaos. <laughs> it was. Like, there was a minute there um, where I'm I'm trying to look at the screen <laughs> and I was like, I might lose this colony right now. I might actually lose this colony. It was horrible. I, w I was taking some medicine, right? We'll say medicine. And I'm like, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what went wrong. <laughs> oh. It was good. It was good. And Zan says, I like the cliffhanger. Putting on the Aqua Tuners right before the end. I know. I, I thought about that. I was like, this is probably a bad idea, but it's going to be great content. Because we are producing a lot more power, but I still don't think we have enough power for the eight Aqua Tuners until they get that giant saltwater tank down to um, average thermals. Because right now that tank's at 50 degrees. And so those Aqua Tuners are running overtime trying to get to cool down that one tank. I stopped my homework before class started. Nice. Zan Heisling says, I couldn't believe how long it took you to think to disconnect the aqua tuners. I told you, I was not firing on all cylinders. Things were getting a little loopy. Uh, excuse A, B, and C. And when it finally dawned on me, I was like, I could have done this so long ago. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> it was good. Czar, welcome back, Czar. It's good to see you. <laughs> oh. Zoldan said, I have to pick up my dad from dialysis between 4 and 5 p.m. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Big hugs to your dad, Zoldan. By the way, Zoldan, how'd you like that picture of me and Ed? It's a glorious picture. Two absolutely, absolutely sexy guys. It's 
Slight Speed said, my achievement run is currently having issues with oxygen. I have polluted water geyser and I don't know how to best clean the water for oxygen. Put it through a water sieve. The water sieve truly is your best ability. So then you're probably gonna say, well, I don't have enough sand. That's your problem then. Um, find the sand, figure out the solution to sand and then you have clean water forever. Czar says, Echo Taco told us you rubbed beards. There's a picture in the Discord. There's a picture in the Discord. It is as glorious as you think it is. Absolutely. On, on a real note, um, I think one of the best compliments I heard over the weekend was from Taco. And it was something like, you know, Taco is an excellent orator. Uh, much better than I am. But he said something on his stream like Echo is the exact e Echo on camera is exactly who he is in person. And it's kind of and that's a huge compliment, right? Because hate to break it to you. Some some of these folks, they uh they're not they're not being their natural self, which for one reason or another, maybe they're not confident, maybe they're still working on it, or maybe they're just trying to do a shtick, or maybe it's just, you know, it's a thing. Master MSC in with a prime 11 months, one more month for Masters. Uh, Equiversary. Naz says, except he looks a, he looks a bit different without the glasses. I look like this, older, right? More tired, more withered. <laughs> but I'll tell you another thing about Naz. Naz, you know the intelligence of, I'll just summarize it. Naz is a smart dude. Like I'm a smart guy, I'm an intelligent guy. Naz is the smart dude in the room. with like one of those crisp memories, great recall, knows a lot about a lot sort of thing. And uh, like when, we, when everybody was getting there, Naz posted in, the, in our, you know, it was a private PAX channel, said, you're not gonna be wearing your glasses, right? I don't even know. I don't even remember when I've told people on the stream that I normally do not wear glasses. I only wear it when I'm sitting at the computer sometimes when I'm reading, but I hardly ever wear glasses. Naz said, you're not gonna be wearing glasses, right? And I'm like, how do you remember that? I, it, it blew my mind, blew my mind. Are we ready for a hump day roll call? Are you ready? Chromix says, I couldn't find him in the tiny bar without glasses. <laughs> oh. Doff said, that's true. The glasses does make you look brighter, fresher, and younger. Thanks, Doff. Now I've got another self-conscious thing to work through. I'll send you the therapist, Bill. <laughs> Draken's Haven! Folks, we, all, we don't often get a Draken's Haven in the chat, but I want you to post your favorite emote. Show Draken what your favorite emote from the channel, because as a reminder, they are all the work of her beautifully majestic artistic mind. First time chatter, Rosewood time, welcome. Lamb Gwen, it's supposed to be your favorite emote from this channel. <laughs> Zar, so the one emote that is not Draken's Haven is the one that Zar just posted. If it's, it's after the Quokka, and that's because um, Liz, Weird Dreams from, you know, the live in, the Liz in Variety show drew that one and, and sent it to me as a gift. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Happy, happy hump day. Today, it's March 27th, 2024, and another glorious roll call begins with Amy from Earth. Burglar 720, Bricked Ed, 
first of their name, All Hell Ed. Chevelle, 57. Cobweb and Rose. Codesman, 9,000. Captain Morgan, 007. Dark Wizard, Dex 3D. Dave Hammer, choo choo. Dolph, 87. Draken's Haven is here. Forever Lost in Oz, Gun Griffin. Jarifa, 2. Carthora. Kinda Noobish, 85. Chromic Acid. So great to meet you, Chromic. Kutai Zar is here. Lamgrin. Lokar, 37. Luscious Lucian. Minu Zeta. Miss Is Bean. Mr. Brain. Music Lady, 1219. Nazgul is here. Enzon. Old Man Wiki. Onyx the Cookie. Otaku 74, Puzzlina, Pyroy Maniac, Queen Calero, Raven Stormfrost, Rosewood Time, Reister, Swarzes Zyken, S Doll Carol, Slight Speed, Slicky Jeff, Sorio Black Feather, Level 2 Rogue, Stone Man 26 Man, no, tw Stone 26 Man, Stream Elements The Bot, <gasps> That means stream elements, for some reason, didn't make my thing. Oh, I also got to say hi to Rob Roy is here. Because for some reason, if I don't click the mods button, Rob Roy doesn't pop. Thaladeed! The Haunted, 318. We Azar, Wikipedia's, with love, Sparrow. Megan, Y2KNW. Yorichi Sama, 23. Zimmy, 99. And Ed's very best friend, Zolin or Lamu. Weazar, you were on the list. I said your name. I thought I said Weazar. Beer killer in with the one. I'm sorry. Beer Killer in with a tier one at the 11 months. Welcome back, Beer Killer. One more month to your echo -versary. Dave showing the chat all the wonderful emotes. And Zan says, notice how he's speeding it up. He's slowly working to rap speed. I, I am trying to get faster because eventually we're gonna have more people in here that wanna be included in the roll call. Fluffy Von Du, hello, welcome. Amy, thank you for the uh, for the mention. Melly B said they fell off the list. Hello, Melly B. Ed says that's it. Roll calls ruined. Start over. <laughs> Oxiderp in with a gifted sub. Thank you, Oxiderp. Slicky Jeb said, you also missed Funkin' of the pie. They weren't on my list. They weren't on my list. They left us. She was gone. She was gone. No excuses. All right, let's do this. Uh, we got a good stream coming at you today. Last I checked, or last I remembered, we're we're in this sort of part of the game where we can go in any direction, but we keep, you know, going left and right. Do you see me scratching my hand? It's because it still has Boston on it. It's still like, what is this? And I can't even see it either. Look, chat. Hold on, hold on. Let's do this. Come on, camera. Oh, one day I'm gonna get. Look at it. You can't see it, but it's chapped. I don't know. I don't understand. I don't get it. Czar says, Echo has started calling me just Czar. Yeah. Oh, I know. That's because I got in trouble. I learned my lesson. Taco says, moisturize. I have been moisturizing. When you're as old as I am, you have to use moisturizer. Or none of you would be watching this channel. 
<laughs> All right, let's get rid of this dude music. Sweet. Yes. Puzzlina says you are young, not old. Thank you, Puzzlina. Doll says, just wanted to say thank you for doing what you do. I use the bods to entertain me while getting chores done around the house. Also frequently fall asleep to them. Although I've been jarred awake by random, yay! <laughs> oh. Mr. Brain says 30 isn't old. If I was 30, if I was 30, oh man, if I was 30. All right, let me go. We're not doing farm. We do need some music here. Make sure you're yelling at me, too, if the music's not quite right. Or the sounds. Because this is the first stream we've done without the ear monitors, right? Kathora said, I thought you were 16. Kathora, you shouldn't fib. It's not nice. All right, let me go... What are we on? Miss Prince, right? Yeah, we are. Ed said, if I was 30, I'd be about 30 pounds skinnier and have so much more hair. You look good, Ed. You look good. Chromix said, Echo's only 19. He told me himself. <laughs> uh, you know, you've always heard like age is a number. That sort of thing. It's it's only true to a point. Age can be a debilitating factor, right? Depending on your body. But age is an attitude. Be the age you want to be. I don't know what we're doing up here. I also don't know why we're in 10x speed. We got 5 million galleries. But 3 of it is barbecue. Because we're still waiting on Paku. Grant Theorem says Echo is at least three to four days younger than I am. Come on, give us Paku. Ooh, we get to do all three predictions today on the blueprint because we do not get to do any on Sunday. Big win. No fish. Where are all the fishies? 3x drywall, says Gun Griffin. I mean, it's probably probably true. All right, let's do a quick uh, recap. We're checking out the colony. Make sure there's no large problems. Still got water going through, I'm assuming. Yes. And now it's, it's a steady flow, too. Rain Bear, welcome in. Welcome to the chaos. Aren't all the fishies on the other asteroid? Yeah, but we're being lazy. 128 kilos in here. We might have to change up our system. Eventually, might have to do some maintenance and have two lines coming out. Because this is not going fast enough. And it's not draining fast because we have so much water. Mmm. Haunted said, people often mistake me for an adult because of my age. I like that. Yeah, let's check out the other planetoid too. Um, after this, make sure everything's good here. Suits are looking decent. King Conus in with the eight months. Says eight solid months. Here's another one. Have a bourbon on me, sir. Thank you, Conus. Rain Bear says, first time chatter. I have finally caught a stream. I've been watching your videos on YouTube and with your help have finally reached Mid game. Very nice, Rainbow. Thank you very much for saying it. Chromic in with a drink. Cheers to you. Hmm. Last time I was cheering Chromic Acid, it was a slightly different beverage. Had a great time that night, Chromic Acid. Appreciate you. 
I need more buffer tanks for the water. I mean, we could get ridiculous. Uh, don't threaten me with a good time, but we've been at this level for quite some time. Actually, we're using some water in here. Ooh. Do you smell overflow? Because it looks like we could use some more in here. Okay, this is coming out. Why do we have it going way up here and not just tink? Oh, I know why. Because this is temporary, isn't it? Yes, yes. Are we ready to mop? Mop, mop, mop. All day long. Uh, let's try deconstructing this before we mop it. Overflow that line to the bottom tank. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at, but I don't know how I want to implement it. Because I want clean implementations, right? And I just, we have so many bridges in here. Like, that could be as clean as the system needs to be. Uh, that actually won't even work. Without putting a yet another bridge right here. Something like this. Because now it will overflow going from here to there. Why aren't our dupes working? Just connect it at the bridge? Like right here? Let's see. Let's wait for this to get filled up back again. Here we go. Yep, still not willing to overflow. Hmm. That won't work either. This will not work because then it'll 50-50 split with the water that it's supposed to be getting. So it would have to look something like this with a bridge here. When I say buffer tank, you say buffer tank. Buffer tank? Oh, then we need another bridge here. Like, this is so sloppy. That will work. But look how sloppy it looks. Raw res in with the prime three months. I appreciate you. Use an ore scrubber. I like it. Sloppy Joes. Hoagies and grinders. Hoagies and grinders. Uh-oh. Why, why are we doing this? Oh, because we were cooling this. Sapphic Black. In with the five months. Thank you, Sapphic. Woo! There it is. That'll make that a little bit better. Now we'll be able to start draining a lot quicker through here. I mean, look how quickly it's moving. Pro level. Pro level gameplay. All right, what else are we looking at? How's this magnificent beast looking? We are full up. Whoops. Anyone else think we should have a buffer tank emote? I mean, what do you want it to look like? It can't just what be a regular buffer tank. And Draken's here. I'm always willing to get some more ideas from Draken. Which, by the way, if Draken, if you're still here, let me do. They might be lurking. She might be lurking. At three. 
They seem to be here. Um, the buffer tank knight. That might not be a bad idea. Um, I think we need more... I want more thumbnail emotes. I've started using more of the echoes again on the thumbnails. But, uh, you know... So, I guess my, my ideas are just go on YouTube. And you know how everybody's got their personal picture on their thumbnail doing like this or like this. Any sort of emote that we don't have for thumbnails... I think could be a good ad. But we can obviously talk about that offline as well. Hope you're doing well, Jake and Saban. And I still haven't forgot about the, the merch stuff. I just have been stuck behind everything. All right, let's move this down here. Boop, boop. Whee! Oh, I love having lead. You know, the only thing better than lead is Ed. That's it. The only thing better than lead. A buffer tank with an E in it? I don't... Draken, if you could talk to that for a second. Like, what are the creative limitations so that you're not copying Clay's work? She knows a lot more about that stuff than I do. Are there geodes with more than a ton of water per tile? I don't know. That's a good question, though. Have we recruited Jorge yet? No, we have not. All right, that will start pumping everything back through here so we can finally get this drained. And why aren't you using these? Okay, they are. Slight speed in with a pandiculate. Oh. Thank you, slight speed. I appreciate you. Oh. Ooh. Oh, it's a big pandiculate. Oh, and it's great. I can stand up more freely now that I don't have ear monitors in. So you can see me do the shimmy shake as I, I work my boxer briefs down. Some of you dudes know. Some of you dudes know. Slicky Jab says, what do you do about the buffer tank emote, which will be a tank with a loading circle in it? What? Oh, what do I think about it? The buffer tank with a loading circle. That's not a bad idea. Any plan for all that CO2? Yeah, I'm just going to wait for it to suffocate the colony. We do need to do something with it. It is quite excessive. <laughs> Mr. Brain says TMI. Look, I'm only here for the honesty. All right. I could have given you too much information. I did not. I kept it rated G. A CO2 rocket? We've already got petroleum rockets. Why have CO2 rockets? Vent it to space. Gun Griffin has the idea. That's probably what we are going to do. Oh, by the way, chat. I have fi figured out an even simpler debris chiller for these. And it's using just one tile. So the same way this is stopping stuff coming out. The difference is, which this might be because you have more tiles. It means it's, it's, it's better at cooling everything. But I had one tile in the video today. One tile. And because that piece of refined metal is just sitting there for 20, 40, 80 seconds, it chills it immediately. Are we going to keep digging for fossil? Oh, that's what we were doing. Oh, yes. We do need to do that. And why are we doing that? There was a reason we were doing that. Dog Barian, welcome back. Why do have all four rockets have a breathability warning? Honey things? Oh. Because they're in suits. What do, what do we do here? Why did we do this? Hey. 
I have n I don't remember. What do we have them going to do? Oh, they're picking up goodies. Because we have super coolant now. Yeah, we do. To finish the story rate straight, finally. Fair point. Um, look at all this junk. Such junk. We also need to start analyzing artifacts so that we can put them in everybody's room. <laughs> we need to get an artifact for the crazy, uh, the crazy cat lady. And we need to put up... We have so much to do, chat. I'm so happy. Let's go stations. Where is that big old thing? Have we not unlocked it? Refinement. There it is. Molecular Forge. That's right. It's the puppies. It's not the kitties. Um, maybe down here? It's so big. It's just out there. All right, I'm thinking right here. No, it's too hot because of the volcano. Yep, we'll go right here. There is oil in your boiler? No, there's not. Look, don't try to sidetrack us like that. Don't be telling all the fibby fibs. Oh, come on. Why? Uh. Now it should be able to finally catch up. I mean, we're using a pretty good bit amount of it. Lori, first time chatter, says I'm horrible at this game. I know I'm a first time chatter, but hi and thank you. Lori, you're not horrible at the game. You're just learning. Allow yourself, give yourself the uh, the permission to be bad at it, knowing that you're just learning. Everybody was bad at the game when they first started. First time chatter, Kane says, hi Echo, nice to catch you live. Nice to see you. Uh, Wart Seed. You're gonna give me fish, one way or the other. One way. Kappa Sensei, first time chatter, says, Hey, feels okay, man. <laughs> oh. Chris Hoffler said, Give me an echo. Give me a six. What do we have? Half a year chaos. Six months. Thank you, Chris Hoffler. How are you doing? All right, where are we? Oh, that's right. We're over here. Let's go more of this. I think we're just going to get rid of this whole area, right? Canes, 2Z in with the follow. Welcome to Chaos. Everybody's figuring out different ways to say that song. One way or the other, we're going to fish you. Gonna getcha, getcha, getcha. <laughs> Don't listen to Echo, says Zoldan. Be proud of the fact that you're bad at the game. Play to that strength. Start 50 colonies and see how short of a time you can survive. <laughs> That's what I mean. Zar is says Echo is extra singy today. I don't I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea what you mean. We'll leave that one there. I am extra singing today. It's, it's the Red Bull. I warned you. I warned you. And let's go with some of this action. Give me a... I tell you what felt weird, because I did not stream on Friday or Sunday due to the aforementioned packs. I sat down today getting setting things set up, and I'm like... Oh, I'm out of practice because it didn't feel as like I know where everything is. Lori says I've managed 100, 120 cycle runs. Very nice. <laughs> I 
Oxyderp says, one pay or another. I'm gonna phone ya. No, I'm not. You know I'm not. Czar says, I know a streamer that is four to 5,000 cycle pays. It's like 5,050. And hasn't gone to space yet. Oh, you must be talking about somebody else then. You don't remember my quality? I did that too. Where's my cred? All right, so we got the 1600 watts for the molecular forge from the main power spine, which is hovering. Check out that main power spine. Uh, we can go, what, what can we do? Try that, look at that. Oh, I love having the buttons here. Stream Deck XL, it's where it's at. We're already at 20 kilowatts. That's amazing. Uh, amazing. All right, uh, right here. Perfect. And then we'll have, I guess a few of these in range. I can't see the, there it is. So we can even put one here. I don't think we'll have a reason for it. Mr. Brain says, Zara was reacting to me playing 1600 hours without getting to space once. Very cool. Boop. Boop. I don't even know how many hours are in the other one. Ooh, make them gold storages. I mean, you're absolutely right. You are absolutely right. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I tried firing up mini base uh, last week. I, we couldn't get it. We could not get it. What's this cobalt doing here? What's any of this cobalt? Why, why are you just out of range? It's only 245 kilos. We'll pick it up manually. Size. No calling czar. Czar, please. Naz, I don't know what you mean. May I request you to call me Kutai again, please? Yes, Kutai. Has the joke held on long enough? Have we learned a lesson? Guerno with the three months says, happy first trimester, Twitch baby. Video today was crazy chaotic. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. I'm glad I got it out. I got to be honest, chat. I oh, hope the queen's here listening. Uh, we're going to have a slight slowdown in video production here in the next couple of weeks. I will get back there soon. But we, ha we have some stuff going on, so I'm slightly saddled. Did the Cobalt Volcano not have tiles to contain the liquid? Um, no, it wouldn't have gone all the way down there anyways. It flashes as soon as it comes out. It's just probably every once in a while, something gets moved and then dropped or... All right. We're good here, good here. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, is this going? Nope, because we gotta finish building these ladders. As long as we're still getting our Chaos Crude Seed. Queen, I'm gonna try. I'm going to try. There may be a delay, but I, I don't know yet. I might try to work on it tomorrow to post it next Wednesday. That might be the smartest play for me. Selkit, welcome back. All right, that's good there. How's this working? Why? Oh, that's not pumping for a reason, but... Oh, what is this? Azutalos? Now it's actually being thermally limited. We're actually pushing enough water through it to where it has to cool it for a second. Oh, but with our super coolant chat, everybody get giddy. Where's Nat? Who is the one... Was it Naz and I going back and forth?
So wait, you're telling me if I put super coolant in those pipes that it's not going to matter? There's no way. Right? I can't remember who it was. And they proved me wrong. They did prove me wrong that there was no difference. Maybe it was using water. I can't remember what it was. Yay! That was haunted. Yes, it was haunted. Talk to me, haunted. Talk to me. 24, we got a party. Can I get a table for 24, please? Table for 24. Welcome in, Lumen Raid. I've been illuminated. Look at us. Look at us. Welcome in, Raiders. Welcome to your new chaos home. Aussie Rose, hello. Mama Bear Gleck. Oh, look at those emotes. Quality emotes. By the way, DK, Aussie Rose and would have follow. Thank you very much. Welcome in. Welcome in. We are we're working on some chaos here. We we've got a little bit of chaos going. Lumen, I hope your uh, I hope your stream went fabulous. Hope you get that all that streamer self love, you know, all the all the usuals. Bloop. Lackluster. Hello. Lumen says I did very much enjoy the chaos in your let's play this morning. I giggled. Lumen knows my YouTube. Lumen knows the YouTube. That's awesome. Thank you for the uh, thank you for the watch. Um, we're actually just having a conversation. Haunted said it was the thermal conductivity that didn't matter. Okay, specific heat capacity is the most important, which super coolant's gonna crush it anyways. So yeah, let's get super cooling on, and then we'll be able to thermo throttle. New word, thermo throttle. Say it with me now, thermo throttle. Selkit, I appreciate the lurk. All right, let's go first. Let's pick up all that fullerene. We should have a decent amount now. Speaking of which, is it time to bring everybody home? It does look like it. Maybe I will not forget to put them back in their suits. And I really hope that's the correct uh, planetoid. Yes, it is. <laughs> Lumen says, oops, sorry about the spoilers, but I think the thumbnail pretty much gives it away. Yeah, it, it's, it was, it was chaos. It was absolute chaos. Um, all right, these folks still have a little bit of time. Oh, because it took them longer to get there. No worries, take your time. Is this the playthrough from your current YouTube series? No, uh, we do a Twitch series and we do a YouTube series. Because it plays off sort of differently. We also, we, we do the fun games and stuff. So what's the end goal for this map? Big systems. Because we like big systems and will not lie. Big mega systems. We're taking this one to the late, late, late game. We just picked up some super coolant, so we're already there. You can see we've got the star map really dusted. And we did that with one rocket pass because we launched four petroleum rockets at once for the first time to space, and they just went into four different directions. Done. Kutai says, also Echo has a YouTube voice. No, I don't have a YouTube voice. I was specifically listening for it in the video that I recorded that you watched today. Just because I say, welcome back to Echo Ridge, doesn't mean that I keep that all the way through. All right, Point Loma, hello. Lumen says it is a different voice, isn't it? It's like a TV. It's not. I don't know what you're d talking about. I don't even know how to duplicate it. Is what's so crazy. First, we're gonna help. We're gonna build this polluted water tank. Like I, it's just because I'm the. It's the pros that I'm using, not necessarily a difference in the voice. I think. It's all the stress of being live. I'm actually really comfortable live now. Julian, first time chatter, said first time chatter here. But you do sound different on YouTube. Maybe it's because those vids are a couple years old. 
Those vids are pretty current. There are vids that are a couple years old. Back before I had a better audio setup. Fished! In with the seven months, says Poster Check. Righto, fished. Oh, nope. I always say flashed. Flash. Let's levitate, chat. Let's levitate. Thank you. It's more the excitement as things are happening. Like, that might be it, too. Whereas in YouTube, you summarize more. That might be it. Meditate and levitate. Every day we do. You have a loop on those water pumps and bottle openers. Oh, no. No, I don't. Oh, disable auto bottle. Yes, I do. Good catch. Who was that? Got Nate. Well done. Uh, why does this one not say disable auto bot? Oh, because it's... Where's the disable auto bottle here? Oh, look, I told you I am not firing at all cylinders today. Okay, because it's a pump, not a dump. Maybe on YouTube, it's just an echo of, well, the real echo. Maybe. It's weird, too, because I can talk to you for four hours. Four hours. And yeah, I'll sometimes stammer over words or whatever, but I get to recording a video. Like, I might sometimes say, welcome back to Echo Ridge. Today, we're going to be working on this and that. And I might have to redo that three or four times. It's something in my brain that knows that we're recording. That means I can re-say things. Navaria, welcome. We need another table. Another table, cuz. Party of eight. Hello, Navaria. Welcome. Ludicrous. Navaria in with the follow as well. I just enabled auto bottle on the right too. Of course I did. Of course I did. Thank you. Navera, tell us what you're playing, what we're doing. Tell us all the goodies. Aqua Tuner breaking. Yeah, this is. I've been seeing this for quite some time. I'm not 100% sure what it is. I'm still working on solutions. The last one is wrong. Disable auto bottle. Look, okay. I'm a little squirrely today. We might need to set up more chairs. It's a busy place today. Uh, we've got the overflow chairs in the back. Can anybody give the queen a hand with the chairs? Oh yeah, it is time to do a blueprint. Chat, if you're new here, get ready, okay? Because this is how we do our predictions. You're gonna be putting up a prediction. Hold on, queen. Don't you dare. I'm gonna beat you to it. As soon as I find the buttons. Calls, raid, manage prediction. Here we go. Start a prediction. What's in the blueprint? Five minutes start. There we go. Right now, we are looking to see what is in this prediction right here. Is it going to be clothes? Is it going to be drywall? Or is it going to be something else? Get, get your goodies in now. Nope, that's the wrong button. No! Go away. Hi, Echo. Bye. All right. That's solved. We got fullerene coming. How much full? Where's our fullerene? It must still be sitting in the rockets. The legendary moss beer. Welcome. Appreciate that follow. Welcome to chaos. The corner dwellers insisted on sofas and love seats. Such a needy bunch. How are we doing on research, by the way? Oh, very nice. Look at us. We're down to the last three researches. Research I. Slicky Jeb, lurking, trying to go to sleep. Have a great night's sleep, Slicky Jeb. Geeky! We were talking about you a little earlier, Geeky. Welcome back. Did you know that asteroids regenerate resources? Yes. All right, um, this is finally pumping. Pumping real good. 
Uh, uh oh. Oh no. Okay, all right, there's the split. I was making sure the salt water and the brine had some place to go. But this is only for salt water. What if it's brine? Is there any brine in here? No. All right, we're okay. Woo! Disaster averted. Uh huh. Disaster averted. Queen said, it's okay, Chad. I found a whole storage room full of beanbag chairs. Everybody grab your favorite color. There is liquid phosphorite. Good catch. Oh, this is going to drop, isn't it? Yep. Hopefully it's small enough numbers that we can just mop it up. Mop, mop, mop. There we go. Good catch as well. Hold on, chat. I'm composing my thoughts. Um... Oh, fossils. We gotta get into the fossils. I don't know when we're going to get into fossils, but we have to. And I'm missing out on things. Sunshine Faith says my emotes didn't work, but that is okay. Welcome to the channel, by the way. Do we have cuddle pips yet? We occasionally get some cuddle pips. Hello, Casey. Sunshine Faith coming in with the Lumen Raid. Fossil Lime Steel. Is that what we're doing? Oh, because we're hurting so much on lime. That's the reason why we're doing it. Mm. All right. Fossils for, for steel. Okay. But have we gotten everything else we wanted? Kind of. Let's make them suffocate. Let's get in here. Uh, flight status. Are they done over here? Sunshine Faith says, My doggo needed me, but I got here. Well, thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you. Um, ooh, this is ugly. Let's get rid of that for sure. Oh, the steam is climbing. Because it's still connected in here. Oh, no. That's unfortunate. It's still got some cold here, so we can still take care of it. We'll figure it out, Chad. It's going to be fine. Uh, what did I want to do? Oh, that's right. Yes, they are done. And now we can go put everybody back in their suits. That for some reason they... Oh, they're all... This one's worn. This one's worn. How many cycles were they up there? Worn. Oh my goodness. 6% and worn. Well, beat ups, you at least get this one. You at least get one with 6% life left. Way to go. Dump some extra ice temperature shift plates. I need to stop the heat first. How are we going to get in there? Just I don't know. Take a look at this. Put a steam turbine to eat some of the heat. That's a good idea. I like that. I mean, that's hot. The steam time turbine is going to overheat. How are we doing on ice? Hundred and fifty-two tons. All right. Let's try that number. Why do you build the Rodriguez? Hydra is better than the Rodriguez? I don't like the Hydra. It's a, for me, personally, the choice comes down to how you want to play. 
and that there is no right or wrong way. But I find the, uh, the Hydra exploits some mechanics that I don't like to exploit. Put them in the harder part, they will do nothing down here. But we'll, we'll listen to them. We'll listen to Katai. I don't think they're going to do anything here. How do we ex exactly do temperature shift plate work? All right. So everything in the game, from tiles to buildings, transfer thermals to other buildings as long as there's an atmosphere or they're directly connecting, like this, in a square or at a cross pattern. Temperature shift plates are unique in the fact that they share thermals like this. So they have a lot of good... Uh, applications as a way to transfer heat from one tile to another or to help environments transfer. Karstad says, happy to finally join you live. Usually only watch the VODs that I may or may not fall asleep to. Well, welcome. We're glad you're here. Yeah, you don't normally use ice. Normally use, you know, igneous rock or something like that. Yeah, see, these are doing nothing. Or at least not much. Because as soon as we open up this giant headache, it's going to get worse. Why did you put it here? You know what? Might be the better way. Going through here. And then just bridging over? What do you think, chat? I think that's the way. Is there an environment here? Oh, there's hydrogen gas in here. Uh, okay. We'll put a liquid lock right here. So by making them from ice, it cools the air around it in a three by three space? Yes and no. So the reason why we use ice, because yeah, it's gonna draw in temperature from that three by three area which is great, which is gonna take all of it. But in the case of the ice, it then is gonna drop a bunch of cold water, which is then transferring to the steam, cooling it off. Sunshine Faith, I appreciate the follow. It's always good when you, when you get a friendly raid and it, you know, people find a, a new home. All right, so what we're gonna do here, and the liquid lock has to be in the obsidian. Or, I'm sorry, the Abyssalite. Because otherwise, it'll transfer with these thermals, and then we are, uh, we are out of luck. This is going to be okay. We are not going to make a bunch of a disaster. Yes, thank you for the potty modes. It is time. Oh, I messed this up again. I always do this. Got to be a little deeper. <laughs> and then I'm going to have to dig this out. So this doesn't touch. We're okay. We're okay. We're not going to do anything wrong. We are okay. You might want to insulate the bottom of the shaft that you are where you build the temperature shift plates. You are leaking heat. Yeah, we are. I, I, I'm trying to do too many things at once. We'll just do it that way. Sour gas incoming. I mean, there is a chance. Mm. And I'm getting sidetracked again. Oh, chat. Are you ready? No! Why? Basic aqua gloves again! Welcome to Echo Ridge Gaming where our blueprint always has clothes or drywall. <laughs> 
And I think what even makes it worse is this is a duplicate. Gloves. Basic aqua gloves, yep. Duplicate. All right, so that's, uh, did this freeze over? No, they can get there. All right, what are we gonna do here? I guess we could leave this. It doesn't really matter, right? And then we'll put a bottle emptier here. What are we gonna use? Uh, we need, I need insulated tiles here. NAFTA lead. <laughs> well, this is abyssalite. This is not going to matter because it's not going to transfer. Oh, unless it's over the flashing point of that liquid. So yeah, let's do insulate everything in. Ed, I appreciate the work. Glenn's being dramatic. They just dropped an entire two tiles like, no! Alright, uh, let's go petroleum. Do we have a petroleum sort of place? Oh, I guess we got a little bit here. Yeah, there's a little bit. Hmm. Maybe I should make a a little pump. Like right here? Is this a good idea or a bad idea? Because I'm mopping it. Yeah, but that's so manual. Hi, Peggy. Who wants to do the manual things? <laughs> Selkit says bad idea. Danger. It's an Echo Ridge idea for sure. I don't know how I'm supposed to take that. Why aren't we, why aren't we pumping oil? Oh, cause we're full. Petroleum's still going out. Okay, sexy, wonderful. All right, uh, rockets still on their way. Uh, looks like somebody got home. Yep. What do we have? Give me all these goodies. Give me all them goodies. Where are my goodies? There's the fullerene. That's four tons of fullerene. Let's go. Here's our next one. We didn't get any artifacts this time because we didn't go anyplace new. We wanted to go get more fullerene. What is this? Sand? Whatever. Oh, we also need... The heck is fullerene? Fullerene is the ingredient required... Uh, to make super cool. You need petroleum, gold, and fullerene. See, this is why I need something to do with the petroleum. I need a little bucket. And it looks like it's going right here, chat. Yep. We are gonna funk soul brother this one. Uh, plumbing. Don't worry about it. They're fine. I will go... How do I do this? Right here. We will put a nice thing right there. Is this going to be able to pump with that right there, though? No. So what we're going to do is make this wider. Deconstruct that. Open all this up. I love the OE game as well. Rykar, I appreciate you stopping by. I appreciate the other support as well. It's good to see you. Is this a classic or spaced out layout? 
because I never really did a spaced out one, so that's why I'm considering trying. This um, is a classic layout using the spaced out DLC. You can see, you can tell because of how big it is. I mean, we got we got big rockets. Cannot lie. Uh, buildings like this. Look at this, six tons. Come to Papa. All right, we have to get a petroleum line all the way up here. We already have a petroleum line up here. Look how clean this implementation is, chat. That's all we had to do. This, this is the reason why I always preach about going slow, building systems up before you just expand into the stars. Look how clean it, we already had a petroleum line. Just, just drop it off. It annoys me that you can't feed the liquid for the super coolant with, via pipe. I agree, Glenn. Kutai says, we're talking about the upcoming Chaos Seed. It's going to be the base game, not DLC. Yes, correct. It's going to be base game. Um, which I think the better way of saying that these days is not saying classic, just saying um, vanilla, maybe. But vanilla normally describes mods, so I don't know. Why insulated pipes, though? I mean, that is an excellent point. This petroleum... Well, this petroleum's coming in at 180... Why is it coming? Yeah, it's a good idea. Drop off some of that heat. It is a really good idea, as a matter of fact. Who is that? Silco! Way to go, Silco. All right, now this vent, believe it or not, is not, won't turn off when this thing gets full. So we're gonna need to put in a nice hydro sensor. Hydro sensor, you're in automation. Yay! Hydro sensor. Also, you could have DLC content and pl classic planetoid layout, so vanilla doesn't really apply. Mrs. Music Lady 1219 with the seven months. Hi, Mrs. Music Lady. 10x speed mod scares me. I feel like I lose control of everything and it goes badly. I mean, it's never happened on this channel, right? But I have heard um, from time to time that it does happen. So when this gets over... You got to be careful because you have to find out what the full tile strength for petroleum is. Because remember, each liquid has a different density. 740 kilos. Whereas you think water, it's a thousand kilos, right? So if you'd said a thousand, well, this hydro sensor is never going to be over a thousand and it would keep spilling over. So we're just going to say when it's above seven... 30. When it's below 7.30. Keep giving us petroleum until then. Now, all I need is gold, which we have it locally. I don't need to worry about that. Super coolant. Forever. Right, nothing else we need fullerene for. Yeah. Give me all... We only have 49 kilos worth of gold. I thought we had a gold-tamed volcano. We don't have a gold volcano here? Oh, it's on the other planetoid. Oh, we have dupes over there. We need to be careful. Yep, it's on the other planetoid. Uh, sloppy. How are these dupes doing? 25,000 calories. Look at them. They just stopped working. Oh, look at me. I'm running on the wheel. Way to go, grumpy. All right, let's go check this here. Nothing. Boop, boop, boop. Research complete there. We're almost done with the tech tree. Puzzlina in with a drink. I appreciate you, Puzzlina. Cheers to you. 
Cheers to you. All right. Uh, I think the mug press is not set up. I don't know what you mean, Silco. This, the molecular f f uh, thing. We've art. Oh, there it is. We have super coolant. Which means I want to start draining this. Oh, yes. We'll just connect it like that and put it in a magical liquid reservoir. Yes. And we're going to hit some action up like this. And we'll have it go down like that. The salad spinner. Now, mug press. Mud press. There it is. Uh, did we... Did I have a salad spinner? Yes, we have one down here. We have no more mud. No mud, no moss. We should bridge it on. Oh, we're going to keep an eye on it. All right, so now that that's doing that, I'm just going to snip it. So every... Overheat damage. Don't over... Oh, I didn't build this out of steel. Uh, why would I build it out of wolframite? What's wrong with you? I know I built this out of steel. That's one of those things. I should have done the new system where you can change the material something's built out of just by using this. That way you don't have to deconstruct and then do it. Less commands. Did the grub grubs die? I hope not. Grub grub. Grub grubs. We even have extra grub grubs. Well, almost. I need to wrangle this one. We're up to 900,000 kilos of berry sludge. And 500,000 calories of mixed berry pie. Yeah, they're not even making berry sludge anything, so everything else is going towards mixed berry pie. Then how is there no mud? Uh, that's a great point. Oh, because they're doing it as soon as they make their mud. They're just doing it. They're coming down here and doing it. So it doesn't take them that that long, I'm guessing. Lackluster meh. In with a follow. Welcome to chaos. Appreciate it. That's my best guess. Will one of you poop for me? Thank you. All right. Did I already give Puzzlino their drink? Cheers to you, Puzzlino. Mm. Speaking of which, I need another one. And I have to also go to the PP. So we're going to take a quick break. Okay. Don't go anywhere. All right. Chat. Chat. Don't let anybody leave. Amy, bar the doors. Bar the doors! All right, I will be right back. Enjoy the, uh, the ridiculousness. The man selling the lemonade says, do you have any grapes? And the guy says, no, I don't have any grapes. So he says, okay, I'm leaving. I'll see you again tomorrow. The duck then comes back tomorrow and asked the lemonade stand guy, hey, do you have any grapes? No, I don't have any grapes. I sell lemonade. All I have is lemonade. I don't have any grapes. The duck says, okay, I'll see you tomorrow. This goes on and on and on. And finally, the lemonade stand owner gets very frustrated and says, look, I've already told you I don't have any grapes. All I sell is lemonade. If you come back here, and ask if there's any grapes. I'm gonna tape your bill shut. So the next day, the duck walks up to the limit. 
It's chaos! Yay! Kirio 5, Kisuke no 1, Kutai Ed. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna giggle about that for so long. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> More Eds. Look, Ghost 98. Excuse me, Zoldan. Zoldan? So there. Uh Riku move. Uh okay. Well there it is. There it is. Spicy tofu. That's a first for me. I've never created spicy tofu before. Just take We're going full pants this. mode, chat! Full pants mode! <laughs> Let's do the fork in the garbage disposal! Let's do the fork in the garbage disposal! Ding 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 I did it for you, chat! I did it for you! Now Keep in mind, as soon as you clip it, I'm gonna delete it. <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't go under that, can I? Chad, I... Oh! No! Oh! <laughs> of course, I could just drop this, too. We could drop it like it's hot. <laughs> oh, I'll be here for at least the next three hours. Three and a half hours, even. Today's stream is not being brought to you by Perrier. And the reason why it's not is because, well, they don't even know I exist. But enjoy your Perrier! <laughs> Do your the trick for you. Whoa! Did I just knock the glasses off my own head? Who does that? That's new. How did I, what was I doing? I don't know. All right, up here, ready? Chat, tell me if it's good. Tell me if it's good, chat. I don't want to look. I don't want to look. Go! Sassy chick wants to say hi. Hi everyone. <laughs> that is that is the sassy chick. I believe your cookies are in my box. All right, somebody tell me when. Somebody tell me when. When when do we when do we let them out? Oh, uh, they're running out of air. Uh, look, I didn't tell you to dress me in orange. You did that. I didn't do that. You dressed me in orange. Mm-hmm. Yep. Ah, uh, suffocating. <laughs> oh, oh, can you not? Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Yay! Oh. Oh, pay. Okay. Okay, that's a first. I've never seen a dupe get stuck in there. Oh. Pay. Oh, man, pay. <laughs> I'm working on it. Pay. Oh, my goodness. In an attempt to escape the door, 
Haunted Pay slams their head inside the tile. Now we have to drop all of this again. How in the world does that happen? Oh, wow. That's a new one. I've never seen that one. There's not polluted oxygen in there. Oh my gosh. How? Rocco's. Here's the leaderboard. It's Rocco's. Okay. Rocco six. Let me put it this way. Rocco's won 50% of the matches. 50% of the matches. That's crazy. That is nut. That is nutty. It says, quick, Echo. Talk about what you love about Perrier. It's flavor. It's texture. How about the way it just makes you feel? When you take a wonderful Perrier, for me, it's the pineapple flavor. But rest assured, there's plenty of flavors available for you. The crisp, carbonated water. Every, make every day a Perrier day. <laughs> Did we have fun chat? The question is, did you hear any feedback that time? That was the last thing I was wondering because I have to make the clips louder so they come out of the speakers louder. Did you hear any feedback through the mic? Well, no, you shouldn't have because it was muted. I like this not having to wear the ear monitors things. Oh, Haunted said there was no fun. There was no a bro echo. Sailor Moon says we ruined Lumen's day with the duck song. A waddle waddle. A waddle away. A waddle waddle. <laughs> Allied Amy in with the prime. Thank you, Allied Amy. Uh, no, not Allied Amy. Yeah, I need better glasses. Allied Army. Thank you, Army. I appreciate you. Uh, yeah, the clip doesn't get the whole punchline. Where's Chester? Right here. With a puffed sitting on top of the Chester. All right, let's get back to it. I inhaled a uh, neutral gain bar. So. One of you will tell me if I have neutral game in my tea, right? Amy from Rose says, it's okay, Echo. You just had Amy on the brain. <laughs> um, Amy, I'm going to need to see you in my office. We're going to need to talk about your workplace etiquette. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll hit the button. Okay, I'm hitting the button. Oh, behave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. All right, what were we doing? That's That one storage bin in the sauna has a different color. <laughs> oh, all right, all right, all right. Let, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Material? No, blueprint. No, it's the same Z's. It's just empty. Look at us. We already have a ton of super coin. Are you getting me another bouquet for Executive Assistant Day? I don't think, was it a bouquet last time? That you said you just used the Echo Ridge credit card? Got yourself something? I, I like that thing that we've got going. Just buy yourself something. Tell me I got it for you. And, uh, yeah. Alright, the cooling loop is empty. So it's time to dump. It's so weird how heavy wall conductive wire interferes with tiles, who the assumption is, is on the same sort of plane as bottle emptiers, 
as other sort of buildings. I guess tiles are the most forward facing or the deepest. I don't know. Super coolant. Bloopy. Yes. Yes. On it, newbie. On it. Here we go. Oh, yes. You glorious, glorious super coolant. Fill my loop. I cannot wait to see what the throughput on this is now. Echo, you always choose not to bridge it and then regret it. This is, no, we're going to be fine. Okay, I'm going to nail it. Exactly. All right. Uh, exclamation pro. I know some of you are new here, but like uh, I have, I have leather bound books in mahogany bookcases. Um, I did my, I did my doctorate in oxygen not included and chaos string theory. So far, so good. I think it's going to take one more bucket. No, it's going to take like two more buckets. Yes. Load. Dumpster fire expert. Oh. I'm like a hobo. <laughs> I have to pay attention to this. We're not going to get squirreled anywhere else. I kind of want... Oh, there's our super current right there. Down to 800. I want to put that on the... On the thing. On the resource meter. But we're running out of room for the resource meter. And the reason why we're running out of room... A lot of you run with a different UI. So you might notice that my UI is bigger than yours. <laughs> um, the reason why we do that is that way it's easier for you to see on stream and in video. Turn off the aqua tuners? No, I, we don't need to. I'm telling you, I'm just going to nail it. Why aren't we getting more? I want more! Give me more, give me more! Oh, it's Peggy! Peggy dropped some off! Prediction that he misses it, says newbie. We're getting close. Here we go. Here we go. We need just a smidge more. Because remember, we got to take up for the two tiles here, two tiles here. Actually, that's good. Because, well... I guess seven tiles worth? We're done. We're done right there. That's it. We're done. Now the question is, should we put this loop with a buffer? Ah, we really can't put it with a buffer tank because this buffer tank is sitting in the steam sauna, which would just heat that loop up, which would just heat this whole thing up. Yeah, so that wouldn't be good. No, no, no. We don't want any more. Thank you. Appreciate you. You're beautiful, but no, no moss. All right, the super cool one's down to 32, 28 up here. So this water should really start just flying out of here. Don't liquid tanks exchange heat with the ground tile? Yes, but the, I think, and I could be wrong, the temperature of the building itself also exchanges heat with the the materials inside it. What is going on? Oh, we've got No, Henry! You're supposed to go home when you return from the rocket the rocket ship. Oh, we did get a couple of new ones here. 
the Grub Grub statue. Eriza Gaming with a party of 17. Queen, we're going to need more beanbag chairs. We're going to need more beanbag chairs. Welcome in, everybody. We're glad you're here. Sweet Danger Kitty. Amazing username, by the way. Welcome in, Raiders. Eriza Gaming, good to see you. Glad you could make it. We're having a little bit of uh, we're having a little bit of fun here. Arise, what were we playing today? Some Ani, very nice. How's the colony doing? Remember to please, please take care of yourself. Get that post stream love going. Can you automate rockets and spaced out? Yes. You can. They have plenty of automation available for you. All right, so now that we all the rockets are home. Arise just started running a new for, frozen forest run. We got metal refinery running on cycle 10. Very nice. That's good metal refinery speed right there. All right, so we're going to scoop all that up with a sweep. Same here. Oh, they're probably dropping all the berry sludge and oxalite off. Are we still on 100% oxalite production? Or did we chill that out? Oh, they're out of oxalite in here. Is that because it was a higher priority box? Ooh, that was close. That was close. It's breaking all the wires, but technically it's working. Yes. Yes, let's look at that research. I, are we done? Sweet danger kitty with the follow. Welcome to chaos. We appreciate you. Glad you uh, decided to stick around maybe for a future stream. Whenever Arisa is not, uh, when, when Arisa is not playing. All right, everything else is good. Diamonds being loaded in. Oh, Oxalite. I wanted to check out the Oxalite. We don't have it on. Oxalite. Oh, yeah, we have 39 tons of Oxalite. And apparently we did have it on. There it is at the bottom. I was like, why can I not see that stuff? Super cool. We're already up to 20 tons. All right, so what are we going to get rid of? Because I need to see more up here. Do we have an aluminum volcano in here? Yes, so I don't need to track aluminum. We're always going to have plenty of aluminum. We're running hatchy boys, so we don't need to look at coal. I mean, we don't really need any of that. Dirt? Yeah, it's probably good, smart to look at it. Do we have a cobalt one? I see you, Silka. Yes, we have two cobalt volcanoes. Good try, though. Obsidian, I'd like to track it. Lead, sure. Iron ore. Keeping it out just to make sure we don't have any iron ore is probably smart. We need an iron volcano. That's why we're over on the other planetoid that we got to stop ignoring. Granite, sure. Igneous rock we need to keep a track of because we are feeding these hatches. Igneous rock. All right. Do let's check on this other planetoid to make sure they're eating and all that. 25,000 calories. Oh, that's right. We put food down for them. Reject them all. Uh, what are they going to be doing else in here? This is a whole... We got to spend a, a playthrough here. Like, there's nothing we can do here without actually just sitting over here. So we will wait. Hmm. Is there anything I could have them do in the meantime, though? that I don't have to watch. It's on that planetoid that the mud press is inactive. Uh, I guess, yeah, they're out of polluted water. Remember, we were done taking all the polluted mud, dropping it off in here so they could use it for the bog buckets. Oh, uh, there's a, a shine bug. Die, shine bug. Get away from my bog buckets. Haven't dug out the supply teleport. Yeah, but I don't want to do anything that I have to pay attention to. Yeah, we're not going to be working over here yet today. Beam some fish over, I know. Why won't you give me fish? 
All right, let's do another prediction, as a matter of fact. Whoop. Start the prediction. What's in the blueprint? Folks, we're talking about clothes, drywall, or something else. I'm just saying it's going to be clothes. All right, it's going to be clothes. So, uh... You do you. Did we kill all the Paku? No, there's plenty of Paku over there. There's just no Paku over here. Because we have a nice little Paku farm here waiting. Because we want to make Surf and Turf. Bye, Pecky. We got plenty of bristle. Why is there berry sludge right here? Oh, no, that doesn't go there. I guess it's fine, though. Sailor Moon says, I like to lose, so I went other. Sweet Danger Kitty says, so much wallpaper. We've spent a lot of, um, I think Kutai earlier said that we don't spend a lot of our um, threads. In this case, we do, we do tend to buy more drywall than anything, but I don't want to buy buildings. A, they're expensive. Um, B, it's just kind of fun waiting to see something else. But the drywall, we need the drywall to make, you know, better designs. Oh, we got some hot tub action. Yes. Way to go, newbie. Who is that? Newbie and low car. No, and vacation. We're in the hot tub. Come on, chat. You got three minutes. Right now, we're only up to 80,000 echoes. Get your echoes in there. Get your echoes in there. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, look at all this iron ore. Uh, oh, that's right. We're working over here. Oh, no. I forgot to turn that off. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. I can mop some more. I like the storage bin we got a while ago. Oh, uh, the gold one? It's one of the rare ones we've got. Right now, drywall is making a run for it. Clothes are coming back. Clothes are in a deep, a, a close second. Right at about 80,000. Why is the top of the magma biome cooling? Uh, because we connected it in here. We were going to go hit this fossil down through here. And still, instead, we decided to take a small shortcut right through here. Soriel Blackfeather says, come on, drywall. I want to buy my dupe a luxury package. <laughs> Fluffy Von Du says, betting isn't allowed for my country. Only allowed to bet zero echoes. That stinks. I wish, I know there's a few countries in um, the EU that have it like that. And it makes me wish that there was a, and it does like an exception to the rule for non-monetary value things, right? There's no monetary value to Echoes. We are finally starting to pull a lot more. Look how, I love how clean this design is. Look how quickly that door opens and closes. Uh, we're never going to fix that. At least we're having better luck with the, the volcanoes. And that's because there's, oh my goodness, 340 kilos worth of steam. All right, mistakes are made. Jarifa said it's Dexmark. Or Dexmark. Denmark, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Philippines, Poland, Quebec, Singapore, Sweden, Korea, Turkey. These are the countries where it's unavailable. Korea, even? Doesn't Korea have a lot of... What are the... We call them gotcha games? Those, to me, are more, you know, susceptible to... Susceptible? To addictive behavior, I would suppose. That's good there. Oh, this is still heating up. Where from? 
It's just so much steam. Wee's warts will finally just quit like, nah, I'm good. I think it'll eventually condense. You want to try some more, uh, some more ice temperature shift plates? I don't think they can reach all those. We'll try that. It was at 500 kilos worth of steam. Isn't Twitch pulling out of South Korea? I think they already did. Unless there was just a date I didn't see. All right, that is good. Um, I guess it's time for another rocket mission. Quebec might have um, independent policies. Some of the provinces are, you know, different from other provinces. Oh, let's do our artifact thing too. All right. Um. Where is my... Is it a station? Artifact analysis station. Where's a good spot? Right here. It's a perfect spot. Sailor Moon says, I am in Quebec and I can bet on Twitch. Well, there you have it, folks. There you have it. Quebec is not one of the areas that you can't. You need to set the bottom sonnet across the steam faster. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, because we only have like 150 kilos remaining. All right, so what we're going to do is... Oh, we got to look at this thing again. Eat your heart out, chat. I have to remember... I made it out of steel? No! Why would it default to steel? I can't understand what that is. I'll show you. I'm gonna have to walk through it myself just to remember. Sapphic Black remembers the design. <laughs> oh. All right, so the way this works, this door crusher, this buffer right here, just changes when the first door opens versus the rest of the doors, okay? Then we have a timer right here to control how long those doors are gonna stay open or closed. Once it hits red, this door shuts, and then these three doors shuts shortly after. That's what all this automation is. This top automation is twofold. This one here is to check Just for things that are not steam, such as carbon dioxide. Um, because we have petroleum generators in here producing carbon dioxide. So when there's too much carbon dioxide here for long enough, according to this filter gate, it holds onto it, opens, and then it'll crush the carbon dioxide. Sweet danger kitty with the with the meme. I just saw that meme from my daughters the other day. That automation hurts my, my tiny girl brain. Here it goes, look, see? All the carbon dioxide's in there and it's gone. So it's a fake skimmer, kinda. This one says, we can set this one to do it. Let me back up. So we have this system that just looks for carbon dioxide and then this system that says, hey, I don't care if you're waiting for carbon dioxide or not, do it at this schedule. This is what we're using to control pressure. We were trying 0.05 of a cycle every 10 cycles, that it would just allow the system to run. Instead, what do we do? I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be silly. I'm gonna say one cycle out of every 10, and then we'll check the levels. Chat, I'm relying on you. I'm relying on you. I need you to remind me to check the levels so we don't end up destroying all the steam in here or making it so low that these volcanoes are then gonna crush everything in this sauna. All right? Let's reset it. So now, it's gonna run this for one full cycle. 
crush, crush. Yeah. And because it's getting rid of the carbon dioxide right now, eventually it's gonna start getting some steam. Ex yes, look at that, 200 kilos. Let me see that big crush. 300 kilos. Kabowie! All gone. Make an alarm automation that goes off if the Atmo pressure gets too low. I would do that, but the only way to check for atmospheric pressure is using an Atmo sensor. Danger, Will it's in fact, we already Danger. have that system in here, but it's, it's set at 20 kilos and that's quite frankly too low. That's why this is under an end gate because it's making sure the pressure is high enough, but I want the mods to change, or the devs to change that to like, give me a range of 100,000. Parsopen? Par, parsopen. Par, parsopen. Welcome to the chaos. Especially with me trying to pronounce your name. Lots of chaos there. In either case, welcome. That statement scares me, Echo. <laughs> That's Dex. First time chatter with the bleed purple. Welcome. Yep, let's do it. Way to go, Jarifa. We have 163, 205,000 echoes up for grabs. I'm going to do it with my eyes closed, chat. You ready? Everybody close your eyes. We're going to listen to the happy sound. We're going to try to listen for a happy sound. Close your eyes. You too, Rusty. Close your eyes. No happy sound. We already have a polka dot ceiling light. See, I finally get an other, and it's a duplicate. But the others win it. The others win it. All right. Let's go with... Oh, Rusty was telling at me, yelling at me to make sure I check it. It's not a big deal if it overflowed because it's just going to go over here. But yeah, it is definitely good. Thank you, Rusty. Dog Barian said Kevin didn't close his eyes. Kevin better not be here. I'll turn the stream right around. Relid says I am now echo rich. <laughs> All right, so we have our liquid lock. We still don't want any of this silliness to come through here. But at least we have a way in. Okay. Yep. Oh, this is going to be bad. But notice this magma will start spilling. Oh, no. I want I want to make it lower. I want to make it lower. So that we have a bigger magma dump. Sweet Danger Kitty says this is gonna be bad. I mean, maybe. Geeky! Oh, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, baby! Yeah. Thank you, Geeky, for the 69 biddies. I need to get a different notification for the 69 biddies. Let's be honest. Uh, we're also gonna do some of this action to give it a little bit more because. Some of this is going to try to come out. All right. We're not going to let it. Where's the dupe safety officer? Yeah. Yeah. What's going to be worse is, remember, this is only a one liquid lock. Oh, maybe I should do a double liquid lock. Because the magma is going to want to heat up this hydrogen. Oh, this is going to be so bad. So bad. Want to touch the hiney. Monkey 91 man says, let's go. Digging that, you will cut in half the heat, the heat fuel for the sour gas boiler. I know. Not really in half. It's still pulling from the entire biome, right? Ooh, what is this? Ooh, 5 by 10. Don't know what that is. It's still pulling from all of this. How am I going to do this? Ooh. Can I... Maybe? Baby? 
make this its own liquid lock, it will probably overflow. But there's nothing wrong with a magma lock. Right? Yeah. Let's go. Kutai had the same idea. The problem is it's going to overflow unless I can cap it off as quickly as possible. Casey Starr says, gosh, I feel bad for those dupes. There's nothing. Dex3D says, magma is less likely to overflow. That's a fair point. That's a fair point. I love the natural liquid locks like this. It's so clean. Mm. Is that the last one? Yes, it is. Where are my peoples? Is this not up? Yep. This is not tall enough. Thank you, Golden Creations Hawaii. Welcome back, by the way. It's okay. We're doing it. We're doing it. Things are happening. Fronima is the first one. Welcome to the jungle, Fronima. Silver snow roses. Welcome in. Welcome to the chaos. I don't think I'll do that again. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Corner built the lava by the bottom left. So you're saying here, but then I, it stopped. There's no way to corner build it all the way. Let's save first, says Dark Wizard. Nah, we're okay. Lower? Right here? Yeah, but then I just... Well, I might be able to get through here. It's too late now, though. We've already committed. All right. Um, the executive office? You know, the executive said, hey, this is what we're going with? I didn't, I didn't have a choice. Um, I tried. I, I let them know, like, hey, this is a bad idea. We shouldn't be doing this. Selkit says, how are your ca uh, tri triage cots? I think we have a one... Two? We have three. Oh, we have five. Silver Snow Rose says, Welcome to Chaos. Loving the farm videos. Got me back into Ani. Thank you so much, Silver Snow Roses. I appreciate you. I've never tried this, but you can stop the magma with liquid metals. Lead and gold are heavier than magma and can build a cable to melt it. Oh, look at it. Look at it. It's holding. It's holding, Chad. Now the dupes are gonna get a little upset because we're doing this all in magma, which means we should probably make another lock right here. Uh, dose locks. Very complicated terminology, but dose locks. We're not even gonna seal it. This magma is not even moving. I mean, look at this. It's like the mighty duck formation. We've got a strong V formation right here. It also, it also kind of looks like a little heart, right? It looks like a little heart. Fine, Chad, I will seal it. Seal it. If an incapacitated dupe, ba I know I'm watching. Them. They'll fall down and we'll never get them. Okay, you can leave. We let's send you way over here. That's gonna have pressure damage. No, it shouldn't, because it's gonna fall through. Jarifa says, Amy, please advise Echo that the union will close the work site if it's not up to code. 
Amy says, I look away for a minute to say hi to Pumpkin, and you've got dupes and lava. I swear if the DW rep swings by again, I'll actually let him in to see you. Amy, Amy, we appreciate your time with Echo Ridge Gaming. All right? You've done a phenomenal job. But you're here to protect the machine. All right? You're my gatekeeper. If I can't trust you, who am I supposed to trust? <laughs> Now, when we continue this, it's only going to use this lava. Stop calling for the DWU. Amy says, you can't fire me. You don't even know where to keep the copy paper. Ah. That's pretty good. I like that. Trust me. <laughs> yes, this is going great. The dupes are barely even getting singed. Would it help to... Uh-oh. I think Glenn's gotta go. Gotta go, Glenn! Would it help to open that lava rock and drain some of the captured lava? That's what we're doing. Right? We're making... I want to make this... Uh... What do we call this? A liquid lock first. And that looks like about it that we're gonna be able to drain. This is due to magma's viscosity. It's very thick... Where did you build the insulation t insulated tiles of Dex, come on. Come on, buddy. You know me. Sandstone. Come on. I mean... <laughs> lead. <laughs> They're obsidian. Sethington Wiffle Bottom, welcome back. Kutai says, honestly, I have to say I'm hooked on this stream. Top content. My anxiety is at peak and I'm biting my nails. Such a cliffhanger. Thank you, Kutai. Uh, pro level gameplay. It's what we do. Now we can go through here and then start stepping down. Maybe we should start st stepping down here. Now they only have to run through the magma, which is not a big deal. Okay. Really not a big deal. Excavate it. Uh, spoiler alert, if you have not finished this uh, story trait, we are about to, for what it's worth. Ice and dig out the, the cold magma. Mm, yeah, but they run through it so fast. I could do a little bit by doing things like... Um, Continuously building some metal tiles here to withdraw the magma, the heat. It'll flash into igneous rock. Let's go diamond, as a matter of fact. I just don't want to lose it too much. Amy says, official statement from the office of Echo Ridge Gaming. They only have to run through a little lava. It's not a big deal. There will be no questions. Thank you for coming. <laughs> I love how every announcement says there will be no questions. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Monkey of legend, first time chatter, welcome. It says echo safety, just hustle. Absolutely. Oh, I can't wait. This is so exciting. Oh my goodness. Stop it. Could so could I flood a magma lake with oil to cool it down and make petroleum? Or is this a bad idea? That is a very, very bad idea. Because what's gonna happen is, yes, that oil will make petroleum. But then that petroleum will make something that this chat loves. Everybody say it at once now. What do you love to see, chat? What are you here for? Mm-hmm. Hold on, chat. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> Where are you going? Oh, this is so great. Okay. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Little chick. I just heard a ear-piercing scream. Like something that you knew was... Something was bad. Something was in trouble. And I was like, uh-oh. So I pause it. And she's already coming up the stairs. The Jima, which is one of the dogs, walked into her room, kind of nudging the door open. She wasn't expecting it. So she thought somebody was coming in the house, sort of thing. Oh. It's not a sound that dads like to hear, you know what I mean? Uh, we're carrying the hot fossil. We're fine. We're fine. It's fine. We do need to dig this out, Chippy. Come on, Chippy. There we go. See? Look, now they just have to run through liquid locks. Glenn says, where's the cheese whiz? We always have the cheese whiz ready, Glenn. All right, that is looking good. Why haven't we excavated this yet? All right, Geeky is coming. Geeky is on their way. So why do we need the locks at all? Um, right now, we're hold because we're holding this hydrogen gas in. We don't want, because now this hydrogen gas is going to keep getting hotter and hotter until it's the temperature of the magma. And if we let it in through here, it would keep heating this petroleum because this would be an environment. We could have only done one, but up oh, there we go. Look at the little doggy biscuit. Space Huggle! Chat, put your hands together for the one, the amazing, the incredible Huggle Bunch. Welcome, Huggle Bunch. You've reached a little bit of chaos. We're doing silly things. I hope you had a great stream, Space Huggle. Space Huggle is one of the most adorable streamers on Twitch. Uh, what, were, what were you playing? Shadows of Doubt. I do not know it. I do not know this Shadows of Doubt. But welcome, everybody. Welcome. Appreciate you bringing, uh, bringing the community over, Space Huggle. Uh, where is my button? Where is my button? All right, so now we've got this. I could demolish this, right? Because it's made out of four tons of fossil. We don't need this one. Where's the main one? DWU officer. Oh my goodness. Chat, DWU's here. Um. Ah, <laughs> yes. Yes. Queen says, okay, Chad, I need help. I want, do I want uh, carne asada or chili verde? Ooh, carne asada. DWU officer, which one of you hooligans is the DWU officer? Let me see if I can click. Oh, it's a brand new account. It's a brand new account. Hello, I've been getting reports of, looks at, this is, this might be Amy. <laughs> I'll be honest, this might be Amy. Dupes running through lava. Would you care to explain? Oh, this is hilarious. Uh, nope, there's no dupes running through lava. We have special lava protective suits. Uh, I, I don't know. All right, let's go find the main thing. Here it is. So my duplicates have meticulously reassembled much of the giant critters scattered remains as they could find. Their efforts have unearthed a seemingly bottomless fossil quarry beneath the largest fragments dig site. Nestled among the topmost bones was a handcrafted critter collar. It's too large to have belonged to any species traditionally characterized as companion animals. Activate the fossil quarry. Oh, look at we got the critter collar. Give me a critter collar. Get it. The tag reads Molly. 
On the reverse is designed by B363, stamped above what appears to be this usually shaped, unusually shaped paw print. Queen says, okay, small asada fries and a chili verde taco. Make that two tacos. Oh, that's because you're on the West Coast. You have all the good, the best taco places. <laughs> so jealous. Yeah, but this takes a thousand grams of diamond. That's a lot of diamond, folks. Lots of diamond. Oh, we haven't we still haven't gotten this yet either though. Space Space Uncle says my fiance makes good tacos. I love tacos. I mean, who doesn't love tacos? Who doesn't? It's kind of cool. Probably a lot of good lore. Um, will somebody let uh, Sweet Danger Kitty let her know that, or le let them know that the uh, the spoilers are done? Where am I located in the U.S.? I am in the southern part of South Carolina. Silco says one kilo of diamonds for a hundred kilos of fossils sounds great to me. No, I agree. Um, I absolutely agree. It is a good deal. But we still don't have the radiation set up. Space Circle says, oh, wait, really? I'm in North Carolina. North Carolina! No one has let poor, sweet, danger... Oh, no. Monkey 91 bed dead. Thank you, Monkey 91. DW officer with the follow. Uh, hold on. Let me um, unfollow DW officer. Can we Can we kick them? Can we? Can we kick? Let's kick the DW out. <laughs> That's funny. All right, here we go. Uh, new log entry. Yeah, we got it. Start making diamond presses. We will, but we have no radiation. We need the radiation to get the diamond presses. And right now we don't have any radiation stuffs. What we're going to have to do is eventually going to have to be over here with all of our bees. Here, we're gonna make a nuclear reactor and be able to generate all those goodies. Silver Snow Roses says, so this colony on Twitch only or will it be on YouTube? This is our live play Twitch one only. Glass. Uh, yeah, they could use glass over here because we might eventually get up to the, well, we're probably not gonna put down the solar panels. <laughs> oh, Amy and the DWU officer are having a great time role-playing. I, I think the DWU officer is about to get whacked by Amy in the back of the head with a lead pipe. We do have plenty of lead. All right. Um, I mean, what's next? Aren't we going to build a shine bug reactor? Jarifa. Jarifa, you were right. You, uh-oh, made a mess. What did you do? Oh, you can't get back home. You need what to go home? Really? Not obsidian. Uh, let's go sandstone. This is fine. This is, it's going to be fine, chat. Okay, it's going to be fine. Doo -doo -doo. Space Huggle with the lurk and food time. I appreciate you so much. I'm glad you came over. Is the lava lock still there? I hope so, because danger, Will Robinson, danger. Yes. It should last the test of time. Let's get the uh, four tons worth of fossil there. That'll be delicious. Have we destroyed all the other ones? I do not feel like we have. Not that I remember where they are, but you know. Chippy. Oh, Chippy, you're fine. Go rest up. This is an example of the pipes our plumbers use around the colony. Let's go see the plumber work area, shall we? Jimmy Tea Time says, hope you had a good PAX. 
for the 11 months. You're one month away from your Echoversary. I had a great time at PAX. I learned a lot, met some amazing, amazing people. It was very fun. Yeah, I don't think we have any more. We will keep this. Ooh, and we can also get rid of this one, but we're going to need to put a tile under it so they can stand up. King Polar XF in with the follow. Welcome to the chaos. We appreciate you. Oh, there's Glenn's P. There's Glenn's P. Already got pumped up, too. Mm. Pump up the P. No, let's stop that. That that was not good. That was horrible. Cycle Leet, check it out. Good call, got Nate. King Polar XF in with the tier one sub. Thank you very much, King Polar. I appreciate you. Oh yeah, now we're getting it. Geeky's got it. Boop. Oh look, now we have the light on. Oh, it's so amazing. Look at the large boulder the size of a small boulder. Look at that large boulder the size of a small boulder. Large boulder? I don't know what you mean. I'm lost and confused. Yep, see? All the steam went away for a second, and now it's just coming right back. Will eventually cool it all? Not that I know... Not that I think it's 100% necessary... But it is fun. Do you have enough materials to crush the hydrogen in that chamber? Yeah. That's not a bad idea. That is not... A, that's why Dex is on the Council of Meeps. Yeah, we'll do it. It's a meme, says Sweet Danger Kitty. I don't know that one. Do you know how many hours I spent on uh, TikTok where most people get their memes these days in the last, let's say, one year? Someone take a guess how many hours I've spent. Enzon has nailed it. Zero hours. Okay, there's a couple of important reasons for this. One, I just don't like the TikTok format. Two, uh, we need to hurry because I built these out of granite. Uh, bad. Danger, danger, danger. What will this turn into? Magma. Oh, that's good. Um... You could just pump in the gas to get it out. Yeah, but this is more fun. But the other reason is because it is... I am incentivized to want YouTube to win the shorts war. Right? So I'm always pushing people to watch YouTube shorts. Because the better YouTube shorts does, the better YouTube does. The better YouTube does, the better I do. Longevity. King Polar, first time chatter, says, been watching a YouTube series and enjoy your content. Glad I can tune in while I'm patrolling tonight. Thank you, King Polar. Stay safe out there. We appreciate you. <laughs> Amy says, I've taken care of this situation for now, but we'll have to keep an eye on this one. Lori says, I prefer shirts, prefer shorts over ticky talkies. Good stuff. Yeah, when YouTube wins, YouTube creators win. So it is a an important endeavor for us. What else? I don't want to start another big project. Look at all our glorious oil and natural gas. Oh, it just makes me happy. Woo, there we go. Sweet Danger Kitty says, shorts are okay, but skirts are more comfy. Super coolant? Oh, no. What did I do? Did I leave this? Oh, thank goodness. Thank a goodness. Let's deconstruct this. I'll empty that polluted water. 
I need to drain these pipes. Oh, yeah. Look at it. It just comes right out. It goes from 70, 60, almost in as many tiles. It's losing like five degrees per tile. The buffer is full again. Danger, Will Robinson. Yes. Danger. Much buffer. I can't take it anymore. Please build a floor on top of the petroleum so the dupes don't throw hot materials there. I like it. That's a, that's a sexy idea. How can I do this? Oh, I can just put another mesh tile like that. I like that idea a lot. Way to go, Kutai. I'm going to refund you for that one. Refunded. You're welcome. Uh, boop. There we go. We can go here. It'll take a minute, but we'll be able to crush all the hydrogen. For those of you wondering, they're like, okay, so we're going to push all the hydrogen up here, but what's going to happen when we fill in this tile? Well, when we do, it'll just destroy it because the hydrogen is not going to be able to move the magma. Sour gas? What? No, there's no sour gas. Just some minor scaldings. Boop, boop. See? Oh, Kutai, you might have ruined it for some people. You may have ruined it. What does sour gas do? The reason why people get all sorts of apprehension apprehension about sour gas is because A, it just it's hot, right? It's nasty. You can't do anything with it immediately. It's normally the sign that something went wrong. It's not a it's not necessarily bad in and of itself. In fact, a um, sour gas boiler is one of the most efficient designs you can do as far as those gross amounts of power. But it, it normally, when normally when you see it, it's because something went wrong. DWU officer says, I'm sorry, but I have to insist on you taking me to his office. Amy then says, I could do that for you, but he's out of the office and helping the dupes in one of the work areas. You'll be much more comfortable here, but if you'd like to wait outside of his office for a return, I can take you there. The tile isn't rebuilt. It's all right. Even if it melt, yeah, it is. It is rebuilt. And it doesn't really matter because um, even if it melted, it'd be a vacuum. It's already destroyed. It's okay. I've never done, this is pretty stupid though. Don't do this, okay? So many things could go wrong in here that Getting back to this point where it's clean would be next to impossible. Because think about it. This Here's another reason why sour gas is dangerous. If this filled with sour gas, in order to pump it out, you got to use a, a pump, a gas pump. That's the only thing that you're going to be able to do. Gas pumps made of steel can only get up to, what, 275 degrees? So there, it's hard to get rid of. KC Star says, oh, so everyone just wants you to echo up the base. Look, we're not we're not doing that, Casey. Okay? We're, we're not using me as an adjective. <laughs> echo up the base. I mean, I have some skills. We just, we just, sometimes we YOLO. Because, you know, YOLO. What are we going to do? Oh, we were going to build this last time, too. Very nice. What are we going to do next episode is the big question. We need to start thinking about that. It's good. There's just so much. 
it's going to be a while before I do another classic start because they're so big. Yeah, we're going to be able to do so many things here and it's going to be great. Um, but it takes a lot of work. Look at this. We've been playing this for 71 hours already. I mean, that's nuts. Zolden, Amy, Amy, Echo got trapped building a pipe bridge the wrong way. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. But I can tell you, I don't appreciate the the lies that you're telling. Um, everybody knows their lies. You're not fooling anybody. So... Don't know what to tell you. Don't forget to check the seam. It'll, it's going to be a long time before we'll be able to tell if it's good enough. Because it's only one cycle out of every ten. In fact, I don't think it is because it's only... What, when we complained first that it was too high, what was it up to? Because right now it's at 335. And I want to say it was similar to that. So now I'm kind of wanting to bump up to 1.5 cycles. Monkey 91 man says four to 500. I don't think it was up that high because I would have thought immediately, okay, we have to work on this now because volcanoes get stifled at 500. Salgit says, when does the Chaos Seed video go live? Hopefully next Wednesday. It was 350-ish. All right, yeah, we're going to leave it at one cycle then. Thank you, Kitsuno Wong. Look at this, we still have steam coming. Oh my god, there's 250 kilos worth of steam down here. I mean, I, I got no dukes. Let's build more temperature shift plates. Hundred and five. I don't want to use too much more. Because this is a waste. There's other ways we can condense this. When are we doing the next pod? Right now. Right now. Let me get the prediction up. That way the queen can get in it too. Prediction is up. We're talking clothes. We're talking drywall. We're talking something else. Haunted said volcanoes get overpressured at 150. Oh. Don't. Thank you, Haunted. I think you're right. I know you're right. It was the five. It was the five thing that messed me up. All right, so let's just do two. Right? Like two cycles. We'll see how that does for a little bit. What was the last one? We got a duplicate. In fact, we didn't even destroy the duplicate, did we? Uh, we got a duplicate polka dot ceiling light. Instead of me getting one of the cool ceiling lights that I don't have, I got a duplicate. I was robbed. Robbed, I tell you, robbed. And then the one before it was uh, basic aqua gloves. Why not one per five cycles more constant? That's a very fair point. One, five. What is this? Another natural gas geyser? Oh, we're already, ch we're like, we need it. This is up to 5.2 kilos worth of natural gas in every single tile. Hmm. Amy and DWU officer are having so much fun just role-playing inside a chat. It's amazing to see. All right, let's figure out where we're going to cut next. This did do a little bit of digging. I was thinking about right here, get rid of all of this. This seems to be the next logical spot. And you know, I'm all about logic. Look at it. The steam gets condensed all the way down to here. And then it just slowly grows again because it's so much of it. You have three minutes. Right now, uh, Drywall only has 10K in it. So some big winning opportunities there. Glows has 40K. 
Let's grab some dirt. Let's grab some dirt. Let's grab some dirt. I'm guessing this is the line. I don't know where my seven line is. Oh, we weren't doing sevens over here? Oh, yes, we were right here. There's a seven. Yep. One. Whoop. So there's another one. Whoop. Eight. Okay, so that is one right there. So that's convenient. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Look at that. Uh, no, let's not do this. Uh, let's use plastic for now on. We have an infinite source of plastic. We do not have an infinite source of anything else. As far as raw minerals. Well, I guess we do have igneous rock. But apparently we're not creating igneous rock right now. How many full rod rigs do you have in this one? We have this one here and this one here. We have blue side, red side. We didn't hire a dupe today either. And it's only because we had so much, we had a ridiculous amount of water on this planetoid. We should probably start saying hello to the Jorge. Remind me next episode, we'll do it that then too. Oh, I know what I can do. Uh, let's start a low level sweep for all those board dupes. Sapphic Black. Sapphic Black is sitting down with an interview with the DWU officer. Um, someone called the union rep that we have on the inside. Uh, we need to take care of Sapphic Black, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Loyalty? A lack of loyalty is punished around here. <laughs> oh, there's an investigation going on. I can't believe there's an investigation. It was just a lava magma lock. Right? It was a brilliant design. Do I get credit? Does the engineering department get credit for it? No. We only get complaints. The magma was hot. These gloves weren't necessary protection. Hmm. <laughs> oh, there's some super coolant, super coolant. Super coolant. What happened? Oh, the polluted water must have flashed already. That's good. Uh, more. Right here. Yes. Very clean. We'll go all the way down. And now we can just bulldoze. Seven high ladders. Great for outside your colony. Not so good inside your colony because you need more space. You know, you could do this, but your base is going to be massive. Make sure there's no trappy traps. Other than uh, Zetalina is about to get trapped, but that's okay. They're in a suit. They'll be fine. No biggies. Boom. All right, that's good there. Uh, we don't need this, really. But I'll leave it there for now, just until they finish digging that out. But here's the great thing about this system. I can just go down seven, hit up the eight. Oh, that's the wrong material. Seven. I can't see that. Six, seven, eight. Right there. Whee! And we can do this one. So glorious. <laughs> Savic Black just told the DWU officer, just remember, you can't trust anyone here. Echo has them all under his corporate thumb. <laughs> Amy, could you um, escort the DWU officer out and Sapphic Black? Tell him not to come back without a lawyer. I'll be honest. We were willing to put up with your 
your interviews and your and the tours that you requested, but now you're crossing a line. Don't come back without a without a warrant, quite frankly. Okay. Queen, don't you dare. Don't you dare hand that DWU officer any cake and milk. Okay? There's no cake and milk for the DWU officer. <laughs> Glorious. Nor cookies, says Drifa. Oh. All right, that needs to be dug out. This is good. Are the... Is the rocket and a door to space, Lord Echo? No, what? Echo Ridge Gaming, is the rocket and a door to space? I have no idea what you said. King Polar says types up a warrant. Do not type up a warrant. Queen says, I'm on vacation currently. Should you need assistance, please contact Amy from Gravitas. <laughs> oh, it's good. All right. I think we've belabored this. Uh, we didn't do anything. We didn't accomplish anything today. Did we? I guess we did get the fossil thing. Let's take a picture of the fossil thing. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? Oh, the magma lock? I mean, that is pretty interesting. Yeah, that's good. I like that. We didn't even finish crushing the H2. I know, I know. Look, tiles are forming over or not too. I gotta fix that. I need to fix that. Let's keep going for a minute. Amy from Earth with another official statement from the office of Echo Ridge Gaming. Here at Echo Ridge Gaming, we appreciate the efforts of the DWU and the work that they do to keep all the dupes safe. Because of the discovery of spore blossoms, the colony is currently under quarantine and anyone currently not currently on site, not employed by Echo Ridge Gaming, is asked to leave immediately. <laughs> you know, because of the spore blossoms, right? You got to be careful with those spore blossoms. <laughs> oh, you're known to me. I shall be back. That's so good. Jarifa, you're right. Prediction time. 40, 100, and, no, 91,000. We have 91,000 in here. <laughs> Bushman Glenn says, my daughter has always bugged me to join the DVC, the Disney Vacation Club. I told her to knock it off or I'll sign her up for the EVC, the Echo Vacation Club. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. <laughs> All right, everybody, get ready to close your eyes. We're closing our eyes now. Mm. Monkey 91, close your eyes. Jarifa, you too. It's a good item. It's an exciting item. I heard the special noise. Oh. Chat, I'm somewhat excited about that, except once again, I think it's a duplicate. Oh no, I'm probably confusing it with our cradle bed. It is a new item. It's a new item. It's a new other too. Look at that. That's pretty nice. I'll take it. Okay. All right. It's a win. That's a win for us. I like it. Newbie says, can I have that pedestal in my room? Absolutely, Newbie. Uh, why aren't they getting down here anymore? Why isn't this being dug out? Oh no, here we go again. Why is this heating up so much? I think I need to put, I don't know. Oh, it's because the oil's not flowing. So the petroleum just sits here and gets warmer. Because it's connected to this thing. And then this thing shuts. Which then warms this up even more. Well, night shouldn't. This thing should never shut because it's take it's um not we're not taking any heat out of it because we're not adding more oil. I don't know. 
All right, finally that was done. Let's go to um, Ludicrous Speed. Are you gonna remake your ranching tutorials now that they've changed the drop-off building? The drop-off building really didn't change. Um, it's just a different skin because they added a, a pick-up building. But to tell you the truth, you don't really need a pickup building in most ranches. Low car in with a dupe luxury package. Low car, low car, low car. There they are. Boop, boop. Why is every, uh oh, oh no. Why are we, hold on low car. We've got an incapacitation. Uh, it's a Koi Quoka. Why, why are we having that? We got a Pandiculate by Ed. We might as well. We got nothing else going on. Ugh. Thank you, Ed. And a drink by Puzzlina. Cheers to you. Angry Four said, good night, Echo. I hope you had fun at PAX. Also, Taco's ear looks delicious. It was the beard, Angry. It was the beard. There's no dead dupe. What? How did they die? They were being carried to... Where are we putting the tasteful memorial? What up? <laughs> man, it feels bad, man. <laughs> oh, man. Sapphic Black said, remember, I tried to stop this. Look, this is Coiffed Goka's problem, not ours. They were only supposed to run through the magma and then right back out. Okay, let's just start one right here. This is good, this is fine. Is dupe safety number one only on YouTube? No, dupe safety is always number one across all of Echo Ridge Gaming. Unfortunately, sometimes mission parameters um, take precedence, but that's, that's in the small print, okay? Small print, I want to know how they died. Oh, because the hydrogen gas, they're now getting burnt inside the hydrogen gas. Uh, now let's go make sure I'm not going to be able to build all of Lokar's bedroom right now. But I at least want to put up the meat and potatoes. And that way, next time Lokar's in, the chair... Actually, no, we can. we got plenty of time. Let's do it. Uh, utilities. Temperature... No, not the temperature. Actually, temperature shift plates would be kind of cool. They'd be the only one with temperature shift plates. I like it. I like it. Uh, wallpaper? What do we do with the wallpaper in between the temperature shift plates? Maybe some just normal fresh whites? Let's go down and check on here. So I'm about to give you a a bunch of you a very cool thing right now I'm gonna hit control one you might be able to hear it did you hear it control one now when I'm up over here building low cars place all I have to do is hit shift one and watch it goes right to it very nice you can also hit home uh, apparently not <laughs> I thought you used to be able to hit home and bring it all the way to the uh, the pod, but... Uh... No. Oh, I know where we can drop that off, though. H goes to the pod, not home. Thank you. We'll give them some crud fruit preserve. Very nice. Uh, 
Uh, what were we doing? Oh, shift one. I'll just go right there. Look at that. Why? Oh, no. The magma's cooling. Hurry up. Like, seriously, what are we waiting on? Buzz is Echo Ridge Gaming from Amy. Mr. Echo Ridge Gaming. Uh, Amy, I've told you. Just call me Echo. Or Mr. Echo. I've got the toxicology reports forged for your approval and immediate release through the back channels. We've already spoken to the other dupes and made arrangements to take care of the family. Do you see that? We took care of the family. Oh, it's the lock. Yeah, it is the lock. Thank you, Katsune Wong. Now, tell me why dupes can't crawl. Wouldn't it be cool if the dupes could crawl through one tile gap, but they move at, let's say, 75% less speed? That would be kind of cool. Bring back dupe crawling. Because the devs are mean, says Lori. Like, seriously, what's going on here? Why? I don't understand what's going on with dupe labor. We're going to have to look at that next... Um, next stream as well because we have 37 duplicates 39 duplicates or we have 41 total duplicates depending on who's in the rockets work slows down as they mourn well i get they gotta all come up here but like really it doesn't take that long coiffed coca don't you dare Whoop. Like, seriously, what is going on? Because the biobot keeps getting it? We now have 39 dupes. 38. 37. Thank you, Peg. Why are you going away? There's plenty of obsidian here. That's one thing that does... Like, not a lot of things irk me about the game. But that does. We have... Enable proximity on. There's no reason. There's no other commands that they should have prioritized. Zoldan says it was my dupe. No, it wasn't. It was Quaffed Quoka. You can't prove it. <laughs> All right, we're going to parlay that and go work on Lokar's bedroom. Uh, Lokar is obviously getting a Grand Prix bread. Bread. Um, somebody else in chat said they wanted their pedestal to be the little handy pedestal, too. It was Newbie. Let's find out where Newbie lives. Newbie, do you know where you live? Right corner. How do you... How does everybody remember this? No, change blueprint. There we go. Oh, look at it. It did it automatically. And because we have all these artifacts stacking up here, 